there is a 90% chance that Nyon truly loves me. Nobody does as much for Nyon as me. Not even her mother. Never cheat. Always be honest. Always no communicate. Because always, you always, always, always tell your... Today, I will be confronting K-pop's most infamous stalker, Josh. Josh is a German man who has had an infatuation with Twice's Nyon since late 2016. From making numerous trips to her neighborhood in Korea to boarding the same flight as Twice, Josh has spent over 3 million euros in an attempt to track Nyon down and confess his love to her. His actions have made headlines, gained him infamy within the K-pop community, and even resulted in JYP and Nyon herself taking legal action against him. But despite all of this, Josh claims he isn't a stalker and doesn't plan on stopping his behaviors anytime soon. I wanted, I wanted to make to sure that she knows okay. that I have good intentions, that I'm not a stalker and that I truly love her. So just how far will he be willing to go? What will it take for him to finally give up? And is there anything I can say to convince him to put a stop to his behavior? But before we begin, just a forewarning, the conversation between Josh and I did not end up going well. I hope that you do exercises to improve your common sense. Yes, you're, 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 completely, you're completely selfish, psychopath. And considering the lengths he has gone to track Nyon down, there's really no saying what he could do to those who get on his wrong side. So I guess it's a good thing that I've got today's sponsor, CyberGhost VPN. A VPN or virtual private network acts like a secure tunnel for all your internet traffic. This ensures that your personal data such as your usernames, passwords, and IP addresses are encrypted and kept safe from government organizations, advertisers, and dangerous individuals like hackers and stalkers. But on a more fun note, a VPN can also allow you to virtually travel the globe and access content that may not be available in your region. So for example, recently I wanted to watch House of Dragons, which sadly wasn't available here in Hong Kong. Luckily, with CyberGhost VPN, I was able to change my location to the US where I found the show on HBO Max. As you can see, a VPN is extremely useful. And there's perhaps no better time to grab one than now. Because CyberGhost is currently offering all of you amazing viewers an exclusive discount at just $2.23 a month plus 4 months free. CyberGhost also comes with 24-7 customer service and a 45-day money-back guarantee. And with over 30 million users worldwide and a 5-star rating on Trustpilot, this is a deal you do not want to miss. So be sure to give CyberGhost a try by checking out the link in the description. I also wanted to let everyone know that Josh actually insisted that I upload the full uncut interview as he quote, did not want to be taken out of context and wanted to quote, share his important life lessons with my viewers. Now, personally, I think he comes off as looking even worse in the full interview, but if that's what he wants, then so be it. So what I've done is I've included my edited video in the beginning, followed by the full uncut interview, which I've actually sped up just because I don't want this video to be hours long. So if you'd just like to skip to the full interview section, then be sure to go to this timestamp over here and play it at 0.25 times the speed. But if not, then sorry for the long intro and let's jump straight into it. Nice to meet you, Josh. Yeah, I am Josh and I grew up in Germany almost my entire life. And I am 27 years old, that's like 29 years in Korean age, I think. Before attempting to confront Josh about his beliefs, I wanted to understand the story from his perspective. Okay, cool. So first, we're going to go through a timeline of everything that happened because that, as you mentioned, there's like some news that you don't agree with, etc. So I want to give you a chance to explain like your side of the story regarding all the events. Mm -hmm. So let's start before you even liked twice. So were you in any relationships before? Just some uh, not so serious school relationship, not, nothing serious. Okay, yeah. so why don't you tell us about how you first uh, liked Nayeon? Like, how did you first find out about her and when did you start to develop feelings for her? The first time was like 2016, I think. Uh, I saw stuff on YouTube. I was not really interested in K-pop, but I was interested in different cultures. And then I think it was in early 2017 that they went to Switzerland and I, 
found this very interesting because Switzerland is close to where I live. So I watched that and um, yeah, and over time, it was just Nyon's personality that I developed feelings for Nyon. There were, there were videos where she uh, literally said that she wants a boyfriend and that uh, she wants the boyfriend to come quickly. And then I also heard that she had a crush on Tony Stark, which is uh, the Robert Downey Jr., the actor of Iron Man. And I was like, okay, maybe uh, there is a chance for me to confess my feelings to her. I thought, okay, maybe if I go to South Korea, maybe I, if I go to the company, maybe if I go to places where Nyon has been, maybe there's a chance that I can confess my feelings to Nyon. And I asked friends if they want to come with me because I was a little bit scared to travel alone, but all of my friends had other things to do and they didn't really come with me, which was kind of sad. And then I just went alone to South Korea in October 2019. So I thought, okay, I will go to the company, I will try to get go to places where Nyan has been. But when all these things failed, I only stayed for three weeks back then. I was like, okay, I still haven't been able to confess my feelings to Nyan. What do I do now? I have to somehow find a way to show Nyan that I really love her. And the only option left was hey, what if I make a video, uh, that way maybe she will see, oh, he, this guy, he really is serious about it, he came all the way to South Korea. Right, so That's actually that brings us to like the first YouTube video, right, which was in October of 2019. Hey guys, my name is Josh and... Uh... In this video, Josh visited the Cheongdandong area where Nayeon and the other TWICE members live. He went to various shops that Nayeon supposedly frequented and gave the staff members his phone number and contact details in hopes that they would then pass it to Nayeon the next time they saw her. He also loitered around in different areas within Cheongdandong hoping to bump into Nayeon and even attempted to visit her apartment complex but was told she no longer lived there. When you uploaded your YouTube video, what sort of response were you anticipating from your viewers? Like, did you think that you were going to get netizens who were willing to help you? I am only usually in the science community and in the engineering community, technology uh, uh, community, and also I'm, I only hang out with people at my age. So I have no idea what people that are younger than me do and stuff like that. So I anticipated a mature response, an adult response. I anticipated that there are a lot of people who say, Hey, we are going to help you, Josh. Wow, that's amazing that you are showing the love to Nyon and we are going to help you. That's so romantic. And I really anticipated a lot of support for what I did. However, Josh was shocked to find out that most people weren't on his side. Instead, the video went viral for all the wrong reasons and Josh started becoming known across the internet as Nyon Stalker. Some websites started uh, uh, using me and made headlines like clickbait headlines, fake news and stuff like that to, to create drama. Also, I was confronted with jealous fans who literally uh, told me like things like um, leave Nyan alone, Nyan belongs only to me and stuff like that. They were the actual obsessed fans and they sort of projected on, the, on themselves and that's why they thought that I am some kind of obsessed person, which I am not. I truly really love Nyan. But all this hate did not stop Josh, and if anything, he became even more motivated to find Nyon. He began studying English and Korean, got a beard transplant to improve his appearance, and continuously made YouTube videos addressed directly to Nyon in hopes that she would eventually reach out to him. I truly love you with all my heart. If there is something that you don't like about me, then please message me and let me know he also continued messaging Nyon and even began contacting her friends and family online. But perhaps his most extreme move came in January of 2020, when Josh managed to get a hold of TWICE's flight details for a round trip from Korea to Japan. It was one of the supporters who, who texted me and uh, told me about the flight that TWICE would take to Japan, but I was not sure if this guy was actually lying or not. I was like, okay, I will do it like this, I will go to Korea, to the Gimpo airport, and I will check if TWICE will actually fly at that day. 
And if it's true, then the return flight must be true as well. So you first went to Korea to the airport to find out about their flight details. So you flew to Korea and then you flew to Japan. Actually, I went to Gimpu, I waited there and waited if twice actually comes at the time that the guy said. And when they came, I knew, okay, the flights have to be true. That, that's why the return flight has to be true as well. And so, knowing that the flight info he had was most likely correct, Josh immediately flew to Japan in time to catch the same flight as twice back to Korea. The next day, I went to Japan right away. And in Japan, I also didn't sleep because uh, I wanted to be on the return flight so bad. And I wasn't sure if I make it to the airport in time. So just to be safe, I, I thought, okay, I will go earlier. So I went 3 a.m. in the morning to the airport back to Tokyo so that I'm 100% at the flight. And yet it was really stressful days for me. It was very, very a lot of work and it cost me a lot of money because I also had to book business class so that I am actually with Niall. Sure enough, after waiting for hours at the Tokyo International Airport, Josh was able to board the same flight as TWICE, where he sat just one row behind the TWICE members. He then waited for the doors to close and for the flight to take off before finally approaching Nyon with a letter. I took my letters out mid-flight. I went to Nyon and I was like, uh, which means like, uh, Nan, could you please read the letter? And uh, the moment I said that, the manager jumped on me and I was like, I almost felt like in a movie and I was like, don't touch me, don't touch me because I was like, dude, what is this kindergarten here? Then I said, uh, and I tried to communicate this to her over and over again, but the managers, they kept yelling, no, 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 which, uh, which they had the intention to make it impossible for me to communicate with Nyan. Then the flight assistants came and they were like, what's going on here? And the managers tried to lie to the flight assistants, making, trying to make me look like I caused this drama. But the managers were those who stood up, who, who jumped on me, who created all this drama, who kept being loud. And it was sort of crazy. Perhaps Josh believed he hadn't started any drama, but the public's response was completely different. The story made headline news, and Twice's company JYP immediately announced that they would be taking legal action against Josh and that Nyon would officially be placed under police protection. Nyon also ended up submitting a request for a restraining order against Josh that very same month. As if Josh wasn't already in enough trouble with JYP, just shortly after the flight incident, he also somehow managed to obtain fellow TWICE member Che Young's number. He then made a tweet begging fans to help him contact Che Young, during which he ended up leaking the number. I couldn't call Che Young from Germany because I was already back in Germany. Uh, that day and then I asked on Twitter because again that's the same thing I again thought for some reason that I'm only surrounded by adults by mature people and that's why I leaked the number because I thought the other people who see this have good intention as well and they are trying to help me they are trying to help Nyon they are trying to help Cheon but instead these fans these, these children they instead uh, used that number to harass Cheong. Then Cheong obviously got mad at me because if I would not have leaked Cheong's number, then Cheong would not have gotten harassed from these children, from these evil children. And I just wanted to add that yeah. even if nobody harassed Che Young, like at the end of the day, it's reasonable for people to not want their number to be leaked. Of course, those kids shouldn't have harassed Che Young if they had her number, but yeah. you also have to take some responsibility for the fact that you... Yeah, of course, yeah. I, well, the problem is um, I'm not usually uh, surrounded by normal people. I'm usually surrounded by very smart people. And that's why, for example, leaking a number, for example, like that, to me, in my surroundings, where everyone is smart, leaking a number is not a problem because everyone knows how to deal with that and respect with that. But in, in, in children especially, they will be very toxic, they will harass people. Yeah, and I learned my lesson. I, I was like, okay, I have to be careful. In response to Josh's behaviors, Twice made several Instagram posts seemingly condemning his actions, including this Instagram story, which was posted during the infamous plane incident. However, Josh is convinced that the post was not directed towards him. Furthermore, he also believes that the post was actually written by Twice's manager 
teachers rather than the members themselves. The Instagram story that asked to go home, that happened before even the flight, before I even confessed to Nyon, before I ever talked to Nyon in real life, this Instagram story happened. That means this, this Instagram story, please go home, cannot be meant towards me. So the, the story, please go home, is directed to an imagination of person that doesn't really exist. Also, after I confessed my things to Nyan during the flight, uh, so, so I, I, I uh, confessed my feelings and explained the situation uh, later, and after that, the story got deleted again. And also there was no evidence that the story was actually from Nyan. It could have also been from the manager. Uh, but how did you know that it got deleted once you confessed? Because you guys were in the because, air. Wait, 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 I, can, I can show you, I can show you, I can show you, uh, because I can explain to you, because I had no idea about Instagram stories, because I rarely, rarely look at Instagram stories, but when I came back to the Korean airport, people messaged me about the story and said there was a story and I checked and there was no story to be found. I was like, dude, are you guys lying? There's no story. And then a lot of people told me, yeah, they took it down an hour later. As a matter of fact, Josh believes that JYP as a company is conspiring against him and intentionally keeping him and Nyon apart. And once the idol starts dating, it just the numbers go down. And that's why most companies, they say, you know what, we make a dating ban, we keep you single, that way your ratings stay up and the fans have somewhat of their fantasies with the idol or whatever. Basically, you're saying JYP doesn't want her to date because that will affect her marketability is what you're trying to say. So you believe uh, that it will lower, lower their profits. profits? Yeah, it will lower their profits and it will lower the ratings uh, of the so you idol. That yeah, that's why she's they're keeping you away from Nyon. Well, not, not just me. I'm not the only one who is affected because, because if you look, for example, at Cheon, who has been seen to date with her tattoo artist, or there was also the thing from Momo and Hichu and stuff like that. Um, if you look at the current situation, the company is trying to. Uh, keep the idols from dating publicly because uh, the public dating has has uh, shown to cause a lot of drama, not just in my case, but also in Young's right, case. But, and, but JYP yeah. allowed Momo and Ji Hyo to date though, so it's already been publicly announced and JYP hasn't made them break up. Yeah, yeah. but there, there was also the case that it could be promotion stunt or something like that, but back then it was more of, I, I, what I saw, it was more of like a test and they saw the bad uh, effects that public dating had on the company. And it's not just only the public dating thing that's bad for the company, but also the fact that I'm from Germany, the fact that I'm from a different country, it adds to the motivation for JYP Entertainment to keep to, to keep non single or, or not dating with me because if she falls in love with me, for example, and I convince her for whatever reason to go to Germany, which I, I don't mind where she wants to live. I would live wherever she wants to live. Um, but I may be convinced her to come to Germany or whatever. And then she doesn't, she, 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 she stops with her career in JYP Entertainment and JYP Entertainment would, would, would basically lose uh, a nine, which, which is very profitable for them. Additionally, in March of 2020, Nyon reportedly went to the Seoul court to withdraw her restraining order against Josh. Although the order was actually withdrawn due to administrative issues, Josh is convinced that Nyon had chosen to withdraw the order because she was secretly on his side, solidifying his belief that JYP is the one that is keeping them apart. Nyon went to the Seoul court, uh, like, like the court, and she requested to withdraw the restraining order which uh, which, which showed that Nyon does not hate me, which showed that Nyon uh, 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 is on my side, but JYP Entertainment also added that the company JYP Entertainment will try to go against me anyway. Can you give me some examples? Because you say that you believe JYP is silencing Nyon and preventing her from talking to you. So like what incidents do you have? Because I know you mentioned about how the restraining order was actually there's, 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 JYP. Okay. So can you tell there's me not just, there's not just, well, well I, I was at JYP Entertainment in December and they lied to me because they at first pretended to be on my side. They actually lied to me and they said, please just wait two weeks don't do anything in those two weeks. Wait two weeks, we are on your side, we will do everything to show Nyon that you're a good guy. And I was like, oh, that's amazing, great company. And then what did I do? I waited two weeks, exactly what they wanted me to do. And then two weeks later, 
they public that they made something public that that sounded a little bit wrong and i was like oh they seemed a little uh, misinformed here i could go back to them so I, I drove 90 minutes and then i asked them hey what's going on and then the same guy that promised me that he would give my letter to nine that that they will tell nine that i'm a good guy the same person when uh, uh, said, yeah, just wait here 50 minutes. And then I waited 50 minutes at Jerry Entertainment, and then he came back with two police officers, and then he came to me and he was like, um, we told you not to come back here, you're a bad person, and stuff like that. And I was like, I immediately realized, this guy actually to lied to me. Yeah. This guy tried to keep me silent for two weeks so that he can go to the police, lie about me, yeah. trying to get me kicked out of South Korea. And that's when I realized this company is so against me, they are literally lying to me to silence me, trying to be very, very, I don't know the, the English word, they try to be very, very, uh, they, they, they try to be sneaky and with a sneaky move, try to get me out of Korea, you know, right. like they're very sneaky and very, very dishonest. So, and, so we know uh, that so, they did that to you, but my question is, how do you know that they're silencing Nayeon as well? Because you yeah, have a okay, so when I realized that they're dishonest, when I realized they're dishonest and they're sneaky, I realized, hold on, they probably told Nayeon the opposite. They didn't tell Nayeon that I'm a good person. Instead, they probably went to Nayeon and they tried to scare Nayeon away from me. In Josh's mind, JYP is an evil and tyrannical company that is seemingly willing to do anything to keep Josh away from the love of his life, even if that means manipulating Nyon and blackmailing her into silence. And I also kind of want to know um, if JYP Entertainment is maybe kind of blackmailing them or um, trying to tell them to not uh, seek contact with me or... Thankfully though, Nyon's contract with JYP was coming to an end in October of 2022. And Josh was absolutely certain that surely, there was no way Nyon would resign with a company as terrible and abusive as JYP, right? And so, Josh decided to bide his time, wait for the contract to end, wait for Nayeon to be freed from the clutches of JYP before visiting Korea again, so that hopefully this time, he could finally communicate with her in peace. Maybe it would be better to wait for this strict JYP entertainment contract to end, so that we can meet each other easily without any restrictions. However, much to Josh's surprise, Nayeon ended up resigning with JYP in July of 2022. It seems like overall you feel like, oh, JYP is trying to restrict Nayeon and things like that, right? And so you waited for Nayeon's contract to end, but then in July of 2022, she resigned. So how did you feel about this? Was this shocking to you? Yeah, well, obviously, well, obviously, I made videos about this in uh, early 2022, and I think also 2021, I often said that I'm suffering a lot from this contract. And when I realized that uh, all the members resigned, I obviously felt a little bit um, punched in the face, so to speak. She should have, uh, she should talk with me about it and, uh, and, and not let me in uncertainty. I mean, if she wants to continue with the contract, for whatever reason, then that's fine with me. I'm sure that she has her reasons to continue and she maybe did it because some members wanted to continue and she was like, okay, if they want to continue, we all continue. So we keep twice going. And, uh, but I was really disappointed. I was really, when I heard about it, I was really not just me, but a lot of my friends, they messaged me and they were like, dude, have you seen this? That's, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy. With all his plans ruined, Josh made numerous videos asking Nayeon when she would like him to come back to Korea. Now that the contract won't end, this year, should I come back to South Korea already earlier? However, when he never received a response, he decided that he couldn't wait any longer. So just a few weeks ago, he booked another flight to Korea, where he is currently back in Cheongdamdong in search of Nayeon. I finally came back all the way to South Korea to surprise you, Nayeon. I was like, hey, Nayeon has birthday uh, on the 22nd of September. Maybe I should go, maybe I should prepare birthday gifts and letters for Nyon and go back to uh, Korea a few days before her birthday starts. So then um, now you're in Cheongdam Dong again, right? So how long are you yes. planning to stay there for? Well, I will, I will stay this time as long as it takes to have clarity. What if she never says anything? Then are you still going to, going to just stay there forever? 
Yeah, yeah I will stay there until I have clarity. Okay. But I also, I also know where she gets her makeup done and stuff like that. I know where she is from time to time. I could uh, meet her earlier, but I am trying to to get it to get to to make things slow because I want to avoid any drama with this kindergarten JYP entertainment. And that's why for now I give my letters to friends and people, and people who see Nyon sometimes yeah. privately for now okay. and uh, to avoid drama so I, 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 I make things slowly to avoid drama but if, 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 if it takes longer and longer and longer I will have to take bigger and bigger steps uh, to finally see Nyon. Overall, Josh has wasted three years of his life and over three million euros on his quest to search for Nyon. And the entire situation has also taken a severe toll on his mental and physical health. I almost spent millions of dollars already to make Nyon happy, to fulfill every wish that Nyon has. So I'm sure everyone who had been truly in love at some point and has not received love back knows how difficult it is and how much energy it drains because suddenly everything, everything becomes so difficult because you feel sort of depressed almost I cannot sleep well I often have thoughts like mm -hmm. does she does she like me does she hate me if she hates me why would she hate me is she misinformed or maybe she likes me but uh, uh, why why doesn't she secretly somehow uh, message me I noticed that Josh also often projects meanings onto random pieces of media almost as if he believes that Nyon is covertly trying to communicate with him in September 2020 or something like that, there was a Radio Star TV show in 2020. And this is very important because in this Radio Star TV show, they talked about marriage. They talked about which member will mar marry last, which member is the pickiest when it comes to boyfriends. And Cheung said in Korean, well, it's probably Nyon. If someone wants to marry Nyon, he has to continuously work for it. That for me was like, okay, so I have to continue with my update videos. I have to continue to prove to Nyon that I truly love her. And then, then there's also these lyrics that, that, that Nyon wrote in songs, which I do not care about. Uh, like, I usually do not look into lyrics because they are just lyrics. But people messaged me about them and said, like, look, Nyon wrote this song and it said that this song is written by Nyon and it says, do not worry and uh, stuff like that and, and, and some hints and stuff like that. And I was like, dude, I am not a child. I do not like hints. I just want clarity. I want clear communication, exchange of information clearly uh, like adults do. Josh has also mentioned in a previous video that he currently takes quetiapine, which is an antipsychotic. Um, this is quetiapine, quetiapine. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, it helps me to fall asleep. So far during the interview, I had tried my best to keep my thoughts to myself and listen to Josh's side of the story. But clearly, from threatening the safety of TWICE's members and staff, to increasing security costs for JYP, to affecting his own health and finances, Josh's infatuation with Nyon was having a negative impact on everyone involved. So now that we had heard Josh's side, I finally decided to try and give my perspective on the issue in an attempt to challenge his beliefs. But this was when the conversation took a turn and shit completely hit the fan. I did not technically waste the money. Nyon wasted the money. Uh, women are more emotionally driven when it comes to such short-term decisions, okay, but I decisions to say something than, like than men. Mean. Secretly dating behind his back is crazy! Uh -huh. She literally forced him to kill her. Josh is someone who tends to speak in circles and go off tangents, and I don't want this video to be longer than it already is. So at least in this edited section, I will only be including excerpts from the call that I personally found most relevant to the topic at hand. Additionally, because I was constantly interrupted and spoken over, I was barely able to even get a word in. Oh, she might be single, but maybe she's just not no, 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 saying what I'm saying. Her. And you chose. Listen, 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 listen. I was basically silenced during my own interview, but. But obviously, I also have points that I want to make. So what I will be doing is that I'll be adding some commentary that I had intended to say during the interview, but wasn't given the opportunity to. 
Okay, so the biggest issue that Josh has at the moment is that he just can't seem to understand why Nyon hasn't given him any response at all. Not even a rejection. She could have rejected me or something like that. Or she could have said, oh, that's so good of you, Josh. Of course, uh, I love you back and we can date. Or she could have said, just wait a little bit, Josh. Uh, it's not the right time. We can date, but maybe in five years from now when I'm out of the therapy entertainment contract. Like, she could have communicated a lot of things to me, but instead I got nothing. Now, the obvious answer to this would be that as a celebrity, Nyon likely has hundreds and thousands of people who are vying for her attention and who quote, love her just as much as Josh does. And so if she responds to Josh, that would mean she would have to respond to everyone else as well, which would obviously be unrealistic. However, before I could even finish my sentence, Josh started going on a tirade about how he was in fact the only one, the only one in the entire world who could ever truly love Nyon. Just listen to this. You're not the only one who loves Nyon. I'm sure there are a lot of men out there who also feel like I am the only one that loves Nyon, truly. What fans do is they see her as idol. I, when I was younger, I also had idols. Chester from Linkin Park. I was a fan of Chester from Linkin Park. I loved him. I loved his music, okay? Mm -hmm. But what fans feel for their idol is not true love and the reason i know sure that i am the only person that really loves nyan is because i did research i asked everyone who loved nyan and i asked them hey do you really love nyan or is it fan love and it 100% of the time turned out to be fan love and not true love. But wait, but as a scientist, we can never say defin a definitive statement like you are the only one. From what you know... Yeah. You, you can see it on a value, you can see it... Uh, uh, nobody to put even close as much time as me to make Nyan happy. You can evidently see that I am by far, by far the person who proves it the most, who put the most effort into it, who puts his life into it, his all his time, all his uh, a lot of my money put into into proving uh, to Nyan that I truly love her. So to say that uh, there are a lot of people who love Nyan is ridiculous. A few minutes later, nobody does as much for Nyan as me. Not even her mother, not even her sister, not even her best friends. I am always there for Nyan. I am there 24 seven in the middle of the night. If Nyan has a problem and she calls me and she said, hey Josh, can you please build me a rocket to the Mars? Because that would make me happy. Then I would jump out of my bed build a rocket for her uh, th th that she can fulfill her wishes because nobody, nobody loves Nyan as much as I do, not even close. Uh, well, I mean, that maybe that's how you feel, but I'm sure that Nyan gets thousands I mean, that's, of messages. That's reality. That's how I, feel. I, 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 ne I never go to how I feel. Listen, you are a girl, you often go by how you feel because you do not have the mental capacity to think to think, to think logically, okay? But I go by reality, okay? I never go by how I feel, I always go by reality. I also try to reason that Nyon might be afraid to give a rejection because there have been many examples of female celebrities who have faced violence after rejecting their obsessed fans, such as Rebecca Schaefer and Mayu Tomita, which I had previously covered on my channel. Let me give you some examples of celebrities who have rejected their their fans and have been killed. Rebecca Schaefer shot by her 19 year old fan. Rebecca Schaefer, I have no idea about Rebecca Schaefer. So what happened was that this fan had sent her a bunch of gifts as well. And she at yeah. first she thought he was a normal fan, so she responded to the first one. Mm -hmm. But then he kept like being more and more obsessive. So one day he turned up at her door and then she rejected him and told him not to come back. She politely shook his hand and was pleasant to him but asked him never to come to her home again. And then he got angry and came back and shot her an hour later. Schaefer opened the door, was shot once in the chest, and lived only long enough to cry out, why, why? So like the moment you reject them, then they then they become yeah. violent. And then yeah, the okay. example is maybe, maybe, okay, I don't know, I do not know the situation, but maybe in this case, mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe, 
she also could have repaid his effort, but it could also be that this guy was simply crazy. But just yeah, because that's one that's guy was crazy doesn't mean everyone is crazy. Yeah, obviously not every man is crazy, but some are. And if I were to make a guess, the very same men who continue to obsess over a woman despite being ignored for years are likely the very ones who would fall into this crazy category. <clears throat> not naming any names. So frankly, I don't really blame these celebrities for wanting to just avoid the risk altogether by not interacting with any of these fans. Throughout the call, Josh also went on various tangents about his views on topics including but not limited to the fact that scientists are better than celebrities. What Nyon does, what Justin Bieber does, what all these celebrities do is they, they put out mindless entertainment to entertain children and what I do is I engineer, I make progress, I do science, I actually provide long-term progress for humanity, okay? I could be as famous as Justin Bieber if I wanted to, uh, to say, no, nah, I'm a celebrity or whatever. I am a scientist. I am yeah, even better, okay? Better. His views on women? Listen, you are a girl, you often go by how you feel because you do not have the mental capacity to think to think, to think logically. People like you and, and uh, some girls and stuff, they are more easily to let their emotions affect their decisions. In evolutionary, just it makes more sense that males are more prone to love and to have this shift in passion than, than, than women. Okay. okay, so first you say women are just emotional, oh, they have no logic. Then now you're saying only men love, but isn't love an emotion? So you're Yes, in this, case, in this case, love is an emotion to protect, to protect uh, the, the, the family, it's a shift in passion this is a long-term thing love is a long-term thing what i mean with with what i what i said earlier with emotions women with emotions is short term that there, there was so there, there was talking about short-term emotions they make short-term decisions based on emotions like if most girls say i do something on monday you cannot rely on them as much because they act more emotionally and they will if they feel like shit on monday they might not do it his views on Asians? I'm not sure if you know what love is because statistically, uh -huh. statistically, Asian women are the least likely to love. And that's, that's just a statistic. People can look it up online. I mean, most of these ramblings are so out of left field and so irrelevant to the topic at hand that I don't really feel the need to respond to them here. I guess the main takeaway is that Josh seems to be a man who has sexist and racist beliefs as well as a sense of superiority for being a supposed intelligent scientist, which I just find especially ironic because it is anything but intelligent to express these views when Nyon, his love interest, is literally an Asian female celebrity. But perhaps the point that stood out to me the most was the anger and resentment that he seemed to harbor towards women like Christina Grimmie. For some context, Christina Grimmie was a famous YouTube singer who was murdered by a stalker fan back in 2016. The stalker fan shot Christina Grimmie during a fan signing event before then turning the gun on himself. Now I'm gonna put a trigger warning here um, as well as before the parts where he talks about Christina Grimmie in the full interview just because the things he says are just so disrespectful and so out of line. But essentially, he completely blames Christina for the incident and even claims she was the one who murdered the crazed fan. The guy who killed Christina Grimmie is the victim, okay? Christina Grimmie is the bad person. The guy who killed Christina Grimmie is a victim, okay? Because he got baited, he did not get clarity, he asked for clarity a long time, and Christina Grimmie just dated someone else without giving him Clarity, even despite him doing so many efforts, okay? So he was a victim, yeah? Props to him. I really feel bad for him that it had to end like this. But Christina Grimmie is a murderer, okay? She is. I obviously do not agree with his beliefs at all and I actually think the fact that he's justifying the murder of women who do not directly reject their suitors is also extremely concerning because Nyon is technically in that very same position. And sure enough, despite claiming that he would be totally fine with Nyon rejecting him If Nyon gets to talk to me and gets to hear my side of the story and she tells me that she doesn't want to have a relationship then I would 
totally understand that. He also said during the interview that if she were to actually reject him now, it would be too late, and that he would expect her to repay him for his efforts. Since you justified the death of Christina Grimmy, right? So then in that case, if Nyan rejects you now, would you feel like you're justified in hurting her as well? Oh, I have. The, we, we live in different times. We have better legal systems now, and I trust into the police. I trust into the legal systems these days. That if I, that if Nyan would run away with with my efforts, okay? If Nyan dates someone else, runs away with my efforts, never repays me my efforts. For, by the way. Just to, to avoid any confusion, if Nyan accepts me and marries me, obviously she doesn't have to repay anything. But in case she does, she does date someone else or in case she rejects me, only then, only then she would have to repay some of the efforts because she could have rejected me much earlier. I made it easy for her to reject me. And because she made signals to request more efforts for me, from me, so then she would have to repay some efforts. But even if not, then I will have to request the money back and I have to ask the police to help and the court for help. And then, sadly, the taxpayers, the Korean and German taxpayers, have to probably repay the money because I'm not sure if Nan will be able to repay the money, but, but then the money would be lost from the taxpayers, which is kind of a shame, but it would not be the first time that a lot of money has been lost due to errors of uh, especially females uh, who did uh, bad decisions because there was also This belief Josh has that Christina Grimmie, Nayon and other such women somehow owe their suitors for their efforts is just so so concerning and in fact it seems to perfectly line up with this alleged voice recording of Josh where he implied that he would hurt Nayon if Nayon were to date someone else I would never hurt Nayon but if she dates secretly behind my back without talking with me about it, then of course, dude, are you fucking retarded, man? Are you fucking completely retarded? This is the most normal thing to do. In a last ditch attempt to reason with Josh, I tried to explain how he needed to value himself more and not revolve his entire life around Nyon. I even suggested that perhaps he would be better off finding another girl who would value him more and put in more effort into the relationship. Though now that I think about it, I'm not sure such a girl exists. Maybe that's why he ended up getting so triggered. I feel like there are other women in this world who would probably be more communicative, live closer to you, and would be more put in more effort into the relationship. And I feel like if you actually invested your time in women who could give you these values that you're looking for, you would be much happier and you wouldn't have spent this yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's very result oriented to say to tell me yeah just stay in germany just quit the relationship yeah but then how do i get back my efforts how do i get a million of dollars that I put back in time? And, 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 and listen listen what if what if nyan truly really loved me what if if well, she truly loved you, she thing. would have right now, listen, 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 right now, there is a 90% chance that Nyon truly loves me, and there's a 10% chance, listen, and there's a 10% chance that she hates me, but she's too stupid to reject me, okay? But there's a 90% that she loves me. So if I quit in Germany, not only do I lose all my efforts, millions of dollars of efforts that I put in, but I would also hurt Nyon a lot because remember Nyon there's a good chance that she loves me and then she will be like oh no Josh gave up on me Josh gave up on me and then she will be depressed Nyon gets depressed Nyon gets sad Nyon ends up killing herself or whatever and then I read on the news well Nyon killed herself because Josh gave up on her and then do you know how I would feel I would feel completely destroyed I would be like oh my god she killed herself because I was too weak to keep Proving my love to her, she killed herself because I it? because wait, I gave up, wait, and wait. that I, I could never, I could never uh, live with this. And the fact that you even think that this is an option to quit yeah. while you not have clarity, that's psychotic. That you are a complete psychopath. You're completely, you're completely selfish psychopath if you think that quitting is an option while you have not clarity. That's completely ridiculous. Well, okay, that's weak. That's really quit. bad. Okay, okay, like, not, okay wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me tell you why I would quit personally. Because if I want clarity so much in a relationship, because you person, are like, weak. Let me, let me finish. Then that person doesn't give me the clarity. This shows that there's already a difference in our communication style. Is that really someone you? want to be with someone who doesn't even put in the effort to give you clarity this is, this is the first point that you make that there's a communication difference because this is indeed an argument to say hey 
there is a communication difference. Maybe we're not so meant for each other, but remember, as long as there's not clarity, you cannot be sure if she likes you or if she if she right, doesn't so like you. What if she likes you? There is a chance. That, there's a chance that if I give up, if I give up now, there is a good chance. Not only will I not get back my efforts, but there's a good chance that Nyan will be disappointed. That Nyan will be, oh my God, he he, he doesn't love me anymore, and that she will be depressed. And maybe maybe she gets to death, and then I will would be extremely sad. Right, but haven't you thought about the fact that if she really loved you that much, then she wouldn't even have waited three years. She would have already quit it twice once her... She wouldn't even have renewed her contract. You said that maybe she renewed the twice contract because of the other twice members, right? That means she cares about the other twice members more than you. This already oh, shows she so, doesn't care that much mm, about you, right? So, so, so what you would do is, you would quit and you would go to Nyan and you would say, Okay, repay me all my effort. I quit. This is it. Pay me back my three million dollars. I will go back to Germany. That's it. But you would do this. You would, you would be as weak as that and you would, you would say, okay, that's enough for me to quit the relationship. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's, that's what, what you would do. I wouldn't ask her to repay the money because I made the decision to do it. Anyways, safe to say, we did not manage to reach any common ground and the meeting ended with him name calling me and hurling a bunch of ad hominem attacks. You are like a little student who cannot think well. And Again, this you girl right there that you are watching points. right now, she is not really smart. If you listen to her and you think she's smart, maybe educate yourself and maybe you will realize that this girl you're listening to right now, what's her name again? Eva. Evangeline. Yeah, Evangeline, she's not that smart, okay? Now, some people might be wondering why I even subjected myself to such a call in the first place. The truth is, I really enjoy challenging my beliefs and finding common ground with others. Whether it's Katie Agee or Chad Future, I have managed to have productive conversations with even some of the most controversial figures in the K-pop community. And much like them, I assumed that Josh was also someone who could at least be reasoned with. But sadly, it seems like Josh is way beyond that point. And the way I see it now, he seems to be a lost cause. Look, I sincerely wish the best for Nyon, Twice, and JYP, but frankly, I don't really want to put my own safety at risk by interacting any further with who appears to be an unstable individual. So I am gracefully bowing out of this situation and will no longer be engaging in any further feuds with Josh, and I would encourage my viewers to do the same. Although it is unfortunate that this call did not go as planned, I hope it still gave a good insight into the warped psyche of Josh and other like-minded individuals. Hopefully, this video brings to light the potential risks such people pose to society so that companies, celebrities, and even normal civilians can take better precautions to protect themselves and these troubled individuals can get the help they desperately need. But of course, these are just my opinions. The opinions of an Asian girl who's apparently also not that smart. So I would definitely encourage everyone to watch the full interview and come to your own conclusions. Trust me, you haven't even seen half the crazy stuff that was said. So without further ado, here is the full uncut interview. You Josh? Yeah, I'm Josh and I am now back in South Korea. Yes. Some people might know. Right, would you like to say like where you're from and how old you are? Yeah, I am from Germany. I grew up in Germany almost my entire life. And I am 27 years old. That's like 29 years in Korean age, I think. Yes. And yeah. Okay, cool. So first we're going to go through a timeline of everything that happened because as you mentioned, there's like some news that you don't agree with, etc. So I want to give you a chance to explain like your side of the story regarding all the events. Mm -hmm. So let's start before you even liked twice. So were you in any relationships before? Not really. Well, just some... Uh, just some uh, not so serious school relationship, Not, nothing serious. Oh right, so like short term stuff. So like this yeah, is like your nothing, first, like true. Nothing serious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's the first serious. Love okay, there. so why don't you tell us about how you first uh, liked Nayeon? Like, how did you first find out about her, and when did you start to develop feelings for her? Um, the first time was like 2016, I think. Uh, so stuff on YouTube. I wasn't really interested in K-pop, but I was interested in different cultures because I just wanted to see how different cultures uh, see different, you know, just how they how, how, just how they act and stuff like that. And then um, I saw a radio interview of Twice and Nayeon and um, at first, I didn't really, I, I never had the intention of falling in love or something like that. Right. But I was interested in the culture, and then I think it was in early 2017 that they went to Switzerland. And I found it very interesting because they were from Korea, and Switzerland is close to where I live. And it was interesting to see them uh, being in Switzerland and um, being confronted with the culture in Switzerland and how they think of Switzerland and stuff like that. So I watched that just out of cultural interest, not out of K pop interest. Right. And um, yeah, and over time, it was just time of personality that I developed feelings for Nile. And I also 
so that she was actually there were there were videos where she uh, literally said that she wants a boyfriend and that uh, she wants the boyfriend to come quickly like she said in Korean but if I to say oh, uh, there was like a video uh, message to future boyfriend and stuff like that and also then later in TV shows she said as soon as the dating month is over she wants to go to a lot of blind dates and stuff like that and then I also hear that she had a crush on Tony Stark which is uh, the Robert Downey Jr. the actor of Iron Man oh. in Avengers and I was like okay maybe uh, there is a chance for me to you know to, to confess my feelings to her and maybe she will like it because she's looking for a boyfriend she's not racist or anything like that because she has a crush on this white actor because he's a white male and I thought okay so so maybe uh, I should try my luck but I had huge anxiety of flying with airplanes because there wasn't sort of an accident in my childhood oh, really? with an airplane and yeah and that's when I started to have huge flight anxiety but uh, yeah then I prepared a lot and I was like okay I just have to do it. I have to go to Korea and confess my feelings to her because how else am I going to do it, right? If I do it, if I try it online somehow, it will be really difficult to reach her. And I already knew where the company is because of the company address and stuff like that. I thought, okay, maybe if I go to South Korea, maybe if I go to the company, maybe if I go to places where Nile has been, maybe there's a chance that I can confess my feelings to Nile and tell her and show her that I truly love her. So then I, yeah, basically I took all my courage together and I was like, okay, fly to South Korea now. And I asked friends if they want to come with me because I was a little bit scared to travel alone, but all my friends had other things to do and they didn't really come with me, which was kind of sad. And then I just went along to South Korea in. Uh, October 2019, yes, like almost so. three years ago. Right, so That's actually that brings us to like the first YouTube video, right, which was in October of 2019. Exactly, exactly. That was, when I was in Korea, I thought that I never have to go public. I thought I can do this privately because I don't really plan on being a public figure. And if I am a public figure, I want to do something related to science and technology. Right, I, I'm not really, really I don't want to be a public figure in the K-pop uh, industry. And uh, so, I, so I thought, okay, I would go to the company. I will try to get go to places where Nan has been, maybe neighbors and stuff like that, and ask them if they can help me to contest my feelings to Nan, actually offer. But when all these things failed, I only stayed for three weeks back then. I was like, okay, I still haven't been able to confess my feelings to Nan. Um, what do I do now? I have to somehow find a way to show Nan that I've been offered. And the only option left was, hey, what if I make a video right. showing that I'm in Korea, that I came all the way to South Korea because I wanted to confess my feelings for Nan, and I show that I'm here in her neighborhood and at the company and stuff like that. And uh, that way, maybe she will see, oh, this guy, he really is serious about it. He came all the way to South Korea. He must really love me. And yeah, that's when I uploaded the video. And that's when things kind of turned into uh, yeah, a very bad way for me because a lot of YouTubers started to make fake news and drama. Okay, and so they before, before we get to that, right? Uh, sorry, before uh, we get to that, I just wanted to ask, like, when you uploaded your YouTube video, what sort of response were you anticipating from your viewers? Like, did you think that you were going to get netizens who were willing to help you? Or like, what were you trying to uh, do? Uh, well, I can, uh, I, I can answer this uh, question very well. I uh, Initially, I am only usually in the science community and in the engineering community, technology uh, uh, community. And also, I, I only hang out with people at my age. So I have no idea what people that are younger than me do and stuff like that. So I anticipated a mature response and other response. I anticipated that there are a lot of people who say, hey, we're going to help you, Josh. Wow, that's amazing that you are showing your love to Nile and we're going to help you. That's so romantic. That's so nice. Um, we're going, we, 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 I ship you with Nile and stuff like that. And I really anticipated a lot of support for what I did. And then... When I saw what actually happened, that there were YouTubers who used me for attention, they used me, they made drama, they made, made fake news headlines, so that they got more attention to gain more viewers, to gain more subscribers, to gain more ad revenue, and even even some websites started uh, using me and made headlines, like clickbait headlines, fake news, and stuff like that, to, to create drama, and uh, to attract more and more viewers, so that they gained more and more ad revenue, and they basically used me, and also a lot of fans, a lot of K-pop fans, they are quite young, and they were quite jealous, because back then I didn't realize what the K-pop industry does to some extent, because what the K-pop industry does to some extent, especially in Twice, is they partially not just sell uh, music and entertainment, but they also, to some extent, sell love and friendship to the fan. And that's also why they are dating months and stuff like that, so that the fans don't get jealous when the idols start dating. But uh, I didn't know about this at all, and so I was confronted with people who made fake news, who made headlines, uh, trying to get uh, attention, and also I was confronted with jealous fans who, 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 who literally uh, told me like things like, um, leave Nile alone, Nile belongs only to me, and stuff like that, which is ridiculous, like they... they um, they were the actual obsessed fans, and they sort of projected on, the, on themselves, and that's why they thought that I am some kind of obsessed person, which I am not. I truly love Nile. And yeah, then, then I realized, whoa, hold on a second, that's, that's uh, completely crazy what's going on. Um, okay, so we'll get more into these hate comments later, because that's like a separate segment. Mm -hmm. So right okay. now, we just kind of go through the timeline, right? Okay, so anyways, you got a lot of hate, but then this didn't stop it, right? So actually, you continued to make efforts to get to know Nile. And actually, this brings me to January of 2020, where you actually boarded the same flight as twice. And yeah. so this made headline news. So can you tell us about like what happened from your perspective? Like all the way from, yeah. actually, can you start from how you found out about your flight details and how you had to first fly to Japan to go to? Yes. Okay, so tell us all about it. Yes. Okay, so I, because I got a lot of, there were a lot of headlines about me, a lot of fake news, I got a lot of messages. And I'm a person, I usually try to answer everyone because I try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt because I'm like, okay, even if there are 90% of haters that hate me, maybe there are 10% of supporters. And for those 10% of the supporters, I go through every message that I get and I either uh, tell them that they are misinformed if they hate me or, I, or if they are supporters, then uh, obviously I, I, I text them. And it was one of the supporters who, who texted me and uh, told me about the flight. 
that tries to take it to Japan, but I was not sure if this guy was actually lying or not, because he just told me this lie information. And I was like, okay, I will do this, I will go to Korea uh, airport, to the Gimbo airport, and I will check if twice will actually fly it that day. And if it's true, then the return flight must be true as well. And when I realized, okay, it's true, the information that I got is correct, I was like, okay, now I know that they will be at the return flight from Tokyo back to So I was like, okay, I have to book a flight now as soon as possible to Tokyo, and then book the same return flight as them so that I am in the same flight as Nyan, oh, so which was... Was, yeah. so, so you first went to Korea to the airport to find out about their flight. Info. So you flew to Korea and then you flew to Japan. Actually, I went to Gimpo, I waited there and waited if twice actually comes at the time that the guy said. And when they came, I knew, okay, the flights have to be true, that, that's why the return flight has to be true as well. And uh, that's when I... Yeah, that's, that's when I uh, realized okay, I have to book a flight to Japan now, which was quite expensive and it was quite it was very, very stressful and very, very difficult to do because I first tried to book it online and so many there were so many errors that in the end, I actually I didn't sleep at all. I uh, well, uh, went to a taxi and I, I took a taxi to the Gimpo airport and I got my flight tickets at the Gimpo airport. Then I dro drove back to my, uh, to my hotel and then I basically, uh, yeah, the next day I went to Japan right away. And in Japan I also didn't sleep because uh, I wanted to be on the return flight so bad and I didn't know uh, if, because I had, I had a, I booked like a one day apartment in, in Japan and I wasn't sure if I'd make it to the airport uh, uh, in time, so just to be safe, and I thought, okay, I will go earlier, so I went 3 a.m. in the morning to the airport back to Tokyo, so that I'm 100% at the flight, at the same flight. And it was a really stressful day for me, it was very, very, a lot of work, and it cost me a lot of money, because I also had to book business class, so that I am actually with Nile there in business class, which is also kind of expensive, because I booked it, like, last minute, so to speak, last minute business class. And yeah, and then I finally were able to confess my feelings to Nile uh, during the flight, yeah. And then you said that, like, and then you, so you basically, I watched your video about what you said happened. So you took the letters mm. out of your bag, and then you walked towards Jung Yun and Na Yun's um, mm. role, right? And you tried to give it to her, but before you could even finish your sentence, some managers mm. tackled you to the ground, right? So can mm. you tell me more about that? Yeah, that's funny. The managers tried to take me on the ground, but uh, obviously they couldn't because they are kind of small and stuff like that. I don't have anything against more people, like, I don't want to sound rude against more people, but these managers, they are kind of a joke, and they tried to jump on me, tried to put on the ground, something like that, which was kind of ridiculous. It almost reminded me of like a kindergarten. Like, literally, I, I felt like I'm in a kindergarten right now. Because um, I'm an adult, I'm not sure, and I, uh, I'm used to have adults around me, and to get a response like this, that the managers jump on me, is so childish of them, and it's so crazy to me, actually, it's, it's like a culture shock almost, because I'm not used to such childish behavior, but anyway, so I took my letters out mid-flight, and I went for the right time, so, and then I, uh, it was just like two steps, because I said, they're very close to, to Nan and Tongyeon, and then I went to Nan, and I was like, Nan, you should go to Seo, which means like, uh, Nan, could you please read the letter, and uh, the moment I said that, the manager jumped on me, and I was like, I almost said like a movie, and I was like, don't touch me, don't touch me, because I was like, dude, what is this kindergarten here, uh, I'm trying to confess my feelings right now, and you guys are acting up like, right. I don't know, like children, and uh, it was a little bit weird, and then they kept being loud, they tried to make it impossible for me to, to communicate with Nan, because then I said, Nan, stop, Anila, Nan, no which means like, Nan, I'm not a broker, I truly love you, like, I wanted to make sure that she knows, that I have good intentions, that I'm not a stalker, and I truly love her, and I tried to communicate this to her over and over again, but the managers, they kept yelling, no, 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 which, uh, which they had the intention to make it impossible for me to communicate with Nile. But because the managers were so loud, and the managers were like, no, 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 and the managers, they created this drama, they jumped on me, they kept being loud, then the flight assistants came, and they were like, what's going on here? And then they scolded the managers, and then the managers tried to lie to the flight assistants, making, trying to make me look like I caused this drama, trying to make me look like I'm the bad person, but in reality, I went calmly to Nile, I tried to calmly confess my feelings to her, I never had any drama intended, but the managers were those who stood up, who, who jumped on me, who created all this drama, who kept being loud, who tried to make it impossible for me to communicate with Nile, and it was sort of crazy. But yeah, and then I made sure that Nile got my letters. I made sure that the managers did not take the letters away from Nile. And then I was pretty sure, like, okay, she has my, she has the letters now, she has my contact information now. Now I just have to wait and see what her response is, because either her response is, hey, Josh, look, uh, that's kind of cute of you that you love me, but I'm busy with my, uh, with my work, or I, I have other intentions. Uh, I'm so sorry that I baited you to come to Sofia. I'm so sorry that I uh, pretended that I want a boyfriend, because that's literally what she said a lot of times that she wants a boyfriend. And she could have said, like, oh, I'm so sorry, Josh, that I baited you into this situation. Uh, I can maybe repay you the flights that you took, uh, because uh, I'm so sorry that I baited you into thinking that I'm available and stuff like that. Like, and then she could have rejected me or something like that. Or she could have said, oh, that's so cute of you, Josh. Of course, uh, I love you back. And we can date, or she said, just wait a little bit, Josh, uh, it's not the right time, we can date, but maybe in five years from now, when I'm out of the Derek Entertainment contract, like, she could have communicated a lot of things to me, but instead I got nothing, I got nothing communicated back to her, from her, and I got more and more worried day by day, and I also wanted to go back to Germany, because I had stuff to do in Germany as well, and at the end of January, I went back to Germany, and... I also then got Jim's number and I couldn't call Jim from Germany because I was already back in Germany uh, that day. And then I asked on Twitter because again, that's the same thing. I again thought for some reason that I'm only surrounded by adults, by mature people. Uh -huh. And that's why I leaked the number because I thought the other people who see this have good intention as well. And they're trying to help me, they're trying to help Nile, they're trying to help Jim. But instead, these fans, these, these children, they instead uh, use that number to harass Jim. They try to call Jim and they harass Jim over and over again. And, then Jaehyung obviously got mad at me because I leaked her number. And if I would not have leaked Jaehyung's number, then Jaehyung would not have gotten harassed from these children, from these evil children. And um, I didn't know that because, as I said, I, I, I'm usually used to have only adults around me, mature people. I'm not used to having to deal with evil children that have bad intentions and stuff like that. That's why, uh, yeah, it was more or less an accident that I leaked the number. I had never the intention to, to harass Jaehyung by leaking her number or anything like that. I always had good intent
think, of course, those kids shouldn't have harassed Chaeyoung if they had a number, but yeah. you also have to take some responsibility for the fact that you... Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. I, well, the problem is um, I'm not usually uh, surrounded by normal people. I'm usually surrounded by very smart people. And that's why sometimes it's difficult for me to um, act accordingly, like, for example, leaking a number, for example, like that. To me, in my surroundings, where everyone is smart, leaking a number is not a problem because everyone knows how to deal with that and respect with that and uh, have respect for the number and stuff like that. Uh, but in, in, in children, especially, when well, I mean, have to deal with children, as I, as I said, I, I had no idea that this happens, uh, they will, yeah, they will be very toxic, they will harass people, they will use this number to harass. And yeah, I learned my lesson, I was like, okay, I have to be careful. I also, at first, didn't understand why Twice needs security guards at the airport. Because I was like, why do they need security guards for? That makes no sense. But then eventually I realized, oh, a lot of these children are actually really bad. And that's, they, they need to be protected from these children. And I, I, I'm not used to this because, as I said, I'm only usually surrounded by smart people and we don't need this. But uh, yeah, in this case, uh, I guess security is appropriate uh, because these children can be very, very uh, toxic and very bad. I mean, I experienced it myself. The children attack me as well uh, a lot of times. Okay, so but, we can go uh, into this later. So let's continue with the yeah. timeline, because I don't want to like, get too off topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then it was February, and I made another update video. Well, I first made an apology video to Cheung, because I realized, oh, damn, that was not my intentions to leak Cheung's number like that. Like, I never had intentions. And then I made an apology video. Then after that, a few weeks later, I made another update video, um, in which I explained that I really love him, that I have no bad intentions, and I, I, I'm not sure what exactly... I, explained, video, I remember that I explained it a lot. The apology video that I saw was to Nayong, not Cheyong. So I'm quite confused. I, made, I, made an, I think I also made an apology video to Cheyong, which oh. was kind of short, I think, from what I remember. But I also made an, an apology video to Nayong. But it, 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 I never really apologized to Nayong because I never did something wrong. Okay. Uh, because I always had good intentions, right? Uh, but I made an apology video for Nayong in case, like, like, it's not really an apology, it's more like a, I'm sorry for the accidents that happened, but it's not my fault. Like, it's, it's really not my fault because I always uh, act with good intentions and I think 10 times before I do something. And when something bad happens, it's usually not my fault. Uh, and I, 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 I uh, understand that I have to take responsibility for my actions, and I do this a lot. I take all responsibilities usually for my actions, but in this case, I, I, I really did everything uh, correctly. I was always careful, always with intentions. The only thing that I did wrong was I leaked James' number, which, as I said, was an accident. I apologize. But then at the end of February, I was like, okay, now I go back to South Korea, and I still has not given me clarity. Remember, I, for me, what's important is also clarity to know what exactly does Nile want me to do, what exactly does, does she think about me, and if she, for example, hates me or whatever, then is it justified? Is it justified that she hates me, or is she maybe uh, misinformed? Does, that, does she maybe have wrong information that was told to her by Joey Entertainment or other people? Uh, and she doesn't really hate me, but she hates a fake image of me that doesn't really exist. Okay, so we can talk uh, about so this I, later as well. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, then, so then, so then, can I ask yeah, a question? Huh? So at that time, uh, Twice made an Instagram post about the situation, right? So Cheyong made a post on Instagram, supposedly. With the, with also, the, with the, yeah, she was quite angry that yes, I leaked the, her number. Yes, yeah. and also the Instagram story. But then you, that, that's asking you to go home. But yeah, she made the Instagram story. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Instagram story? Yeah, I was going to ask you to go home, but you said the manager posted. No, 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 no. The story, the, the Instagram story that asked to go home, that happened before even the flight, before I even confessed to Nile, before I ever talked to Nile in real life, this Instagram story happened. That means this, Insta this, this Instagram story, please go home, cannot be meant towards me because it was typed before I ever confessed my things, before I ever told Nile my true intentions. Okay. So the, the story, please go home, is directed to an imagination of person that doesn't really exist. Remember, because back then, back when that story happened, please go home, Nile had no idea who I really am. She had no idea that I'm not a stalker. She had no idea that I truly love her. She had no idea about this. So that's why the story is really something that cannot be taken seriously. And also, after I confessed my things to Nile during the flight, uh, so, so I, I, I uh, confessed my feelings and explained the situation uh, later. And uh, after that, the story got deleted again. And also, there was no evidence that the story was actually from Nile. It could have also been from the manager. But as I said, the story was made before I even confessed, before I even talked to Nile, before I even explained the situation. So she could not have known my true self and thus not have uh, given an answer to my true self because we cannot be a, a, a judge a person that we don't know. It makes no sense. Right. And, uh, Question. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, but how did you know that it got mm -hmm. deleted once you confessed? Because you guys were in the. Yeah, office. Wait, 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 I can show you. I can show you. I can show you uh, because I can explain to you because I had no idea about Instagram stories because I rarely, rarely look at Instagram stories. But when I came uh, back to the Korean airport, uh -huh. people messaged me about the story and said there was a story. And I checked and there was no story to be found. I was like, dude, I guess there's no story. And then a lot of people told me, yeah, they took it down an hour later. And I was like, wait, so, okay, they took it down again. Okay, so then I was like, okay, maybe the story came before I confessed. Well, the story came before I confessed. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's just a fact. But then when I confessed, after I confessed, when we landed, uh, the story got removed again. Okay. And I don't know if it was from a manager or whatever, but here's the thing. I gave my letter to Nile during the flight. On the letter is my contact information. And she can message me by email, Instagram, Kakao Talk. And I fulfill... All wishes to her because I really love her. Like I do everything for her. Uh, so if she tells me stay in Germany, I will go back to Germany. She, even if she tells me go to Mars, I will get a rocket and I will go to Mars. I will do everything for now. But she didn't offer. She, she didn't tell me anything. Uh, right, and so I check my email, right, right. Instagram every day. Right, right, right. So we'll get into that again later. So anyways, okay. So let's move on. So yeah. you said that you so then, believe that JYP yeah. is actually keeping you and Nye on apart. So can you? Because mm. you also mentioned about the managers and everything, right? So can you tell me about why you think JYP is keeping you and Nye on apart and what they did yeah. that made you think so? Okay. So it has also to do with the K-pop uh, industry. K-pop industry. They 
uh, are not properly regulated yet. Well, the Korean government is trying to implement better regulations, like for example, that trainees have to be certifications before they can become idols, which not only protects the idols, but it also will cause the idols to be better role models for the children, because usually idols, the most of the fans are children, and they look up to their idols, and idols are sort of role models. And uh, there's one regulation that's missing, and that is that idols should not be allowed to sell love and friendship, because here's the thing, a lot of K-pop companies implement dating bans, but the reason for the dating bans is because the ratings will drop of an idol when the idol starts dating, right. and usually that happens um, because fans get jealous and a lot of fans support their idol, not just uh, with, with, with the usual support that you get in the Western culture, but also some of the people, they really have feelings for the idol, they see their idol as their friend or even more like that, and once the idol starts dating, they are like, they, they feel cheated on, they almost feel betrayed, you can see that the numbers, the ratings will drop, the profits will drop, and once the idol starts dating, it just the numbers go down, and that's why most companies, they say, you know what, we make a dating bank, we keep you single, that way your ratings stay up, and the fans have somewhat of their fantasies with the idol or whatever, or some of the fans at least, and uh, so that's that's really bad from the, 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 the K-pop uh, industry, because long term, in the long term perspective, uh, it is not good because it's more harm than good because in long-term perspective eventually the idol will find a boyfriend or a girlfriend or will uh, make make a, a family and then inevitably fans will become jealous so it's never a good idea to sell love and friendship or to put a price tag on on love and friendship or that there's this app called bubble from Kerry entertainment which which also puts a price tag on love and friendship because now people have to pay like i don't know what it is eight dollars or what a month to have a chance to, to talk with their with their idol or, or whatever and it's, it's a little bit of it's a little bit of a scam because they have these hopes to, to talk to the idol and they pay money and then they pay all this money and they don't get the attention that they want from their idol and then the idol starts suddenly start taking so they're like that's unfair i paid so much money to get attention from my idol and the idol gives their attention to Someone else for free. Right, hmm? So basically, you're saying JYP doesn't want her to date because that will affect her marketability, is what you're trying to say. So you believe uh, it will lower the profits, yeah, it will lower the profits and it will lower the ratings uh, so of the idol. That yeah. That's why she's, they're keeping you away from Nyon. Well, not just me, I'm not the only one who's affected. Because if you look, for example, at Cheon, which, uh, who, sorry, who, um, who has been seen to date with her uh, tattoo artist, or there was also the thing from Momo and Pichu and stuff like that. Uh, if you look at the current situation, the company is trying to uh, keep the idols from dating publicly because uh, the public dating has has uh, shown to cause a lot of drama, not just in my case, but also in Jill's right. case. And, but JYP yeah. allowed Momo and Jihyo to date though, so it's already been publicly announced and JYP hasn't made them break up. Like, okay, I know that Jihyo and Daniel Again, but that's natural. Like, they allowed them to date. Yeah, but that, that was also the case that it could be promotion stunt or something. But back then, it was more of I, what I saw it was more of like a test, and they never really uh, went deep into into making the relationship public because they saw that fans get jealous and they saw the bad uh, effects that public dating had on the company. And it's not just only the public dating thing that's bad for the company, but also the fact that I'm from Germany, the fact that I'm from a different country. It adds to to to. Um, the motivation for Cherokee Entertainment to keep to, to keep not single or not dating with me because there was also this, obviously now brings in a lot of money for Cherokee Entertainment and uh, if if she falls in love with me for example and I can convince her for whatever reason to go to Germany which I, I don't mind where she wants to live I would live wherever she wants to live um, but they could be together I may be convinced to come to Germany or whatever and then she doesn't she she, she, she stops with her career Cherokee Entertainment and Cherokee Entertainment would, would basically lose uh, a knowledge which is very profitable for them but uh, either way I personally find it a little bit uh, idyllic from Cherokee Entertainment but they do because they are just themselves right now because we should go continue with the timeline because there's an important event that's coming up, right, which so is um, Jeff and Tim actually announced officially that Nyon went to the Seoul court, uh, like, like the court, and she requested to withdraw the restraining order, which uh, which showed that Nyon does not hate me, which showed that Nyon uh, is on my side. But Jeff and also added that the company Jeff and would try to go against me anyway. Like they were like, okay, Nyon requested to withdraw the restraining order, but we as a company we still try to go against the court, which is ridiculous because they are just hurting themselves because they are the culprits, they are the bad guys, and in front of court they will have to pay, they will have the problem. And uh, that's, that's why I find it a little bit funny. That's uh, a little bit like, uh, imagine you do something bad and then yes. you call the police and you're like, uh, something bad happened. Okay, I'm like, sorry, so I have a question. Yeah, I have a question. Um, yeah. when, when did Nyon withdraw this restraining order? I didn't see this on the news. I heard about it in March 2020. So it could be February, but it could also be March 2020. Okay, can you send me the article that says this later? Like, you can Google about it. Everyone, everyone who watches this can Google about it. Um, just Google Nyon withdraw restraining order. But uh, you know, a lot of articles will pop up. against you specifically, or could it be another restraining order? No, it just says Nyon uh, went, uh, went to court to, to request uh, the withdrawal of the restraining order. Yeah, but uh, so, yeah, so, so this is basically showed that Nyon is on my side, which made, made sense because I, I fulfilled every wish for Nyon. I did everything, I did everything that Nyon wanted I to do. I spent 100, I, by then I, al I almost spent millions of dollars already to make Nyon happy, to fulfill her every wish. Okay, so that Nyon has. Okay, so basically you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on your side, but you're not really on her side. Yeah, you're saying that Nyon is on
show them more of the wrongdoings that Sherpa Entertainment does. So the police wants me to go against Sherpa Entertainment. Okay. I personally, I would just leave this kind of alone because I'm too old for this. But if the police wants it, okay, I can do it. Anyway, okay, so... Okay, so, okay, so uh, let me ask my questions, yeah? So you said that, like, can you give me some examples? Because you say that you believe JYP is silencing Nayeon and preventing her from talking to you. So, like, what incidents do you have? Because I know you mentioned about how the restraining order was actually... There's, 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 okay, so there's not just... There's just well, but I, I was at Sherpa Entertainment in December, and they lied to me because they at first pretended to be on my side. They actually... They actually lied to me and they said, we are on your side, Josh, we will give your letter to Nyan, we usually don't do this, but we will give your gift to Nyan as well, we usually don't do this, but we do it for you, we are totally on your side, we will tell Nyan that you're a great guy, but please, just wait two weeks, don't do anything in those two weeks. Wait two weeks, we are on your side, we will give your letter to Nyan, we will do everything to show Nyan that you're a good guy. And I was like, oh, that's amazing, great company. And then, what did I do? I waited two weeks, exactly what they wanted me to do, and then two weeks later, they published, they made something public that, that sounded a little bit wrong, and I was like, oh, they seem a little uh, misinformed here, I could go back to them. So I, I drove for 90 minutes, remember, I take 90 minutes to them, because I usually take the bus, it's, it's cheap and it's, it's kind of okay. more comfortable. Anyway, so, I uh, went with the bus to them next minute, and then I asked them, hey, what's going on? Uh, you told me you will tell Nyan that I'm a good person, you said that I will, uh, that you will give my letter to Nyan, and then the same guy that promised me that he will give my letter to Nyan, that, that they will tell Nyan that I'm a good guy, the same person went, uh, said, yeah, just wait here 50 minutes, and then I waited 50 minutes to check the and then he came back with two police officers, and I re immediately realized, and then he came to me, and he was like, and we told you not to come back here, you're a bad person, and I was like, I immediately realized, oh my god, this guy oh, actually lied right to me. Right? This guy tried to keep me silent for two weeks so that he can go to the police, lie about me, yeah. trying to get me kicked out of South Korea. And then I realized, like, it clicked. I was like, oh my god, when he told me that he's on my side, when he told me that he would give my letter to Nile, when he told me that uh, he will tell Nile that I'm a great guy, he lied, trying to silence me for weeks. And then he, behind my back, went to the police and lied to the police because guess what they said? Jeremy Entertainment lied to the police and they told the police that I would harass Nile's mother, which is completely untrue. I would never harass Nile's mother. That's such a crazy idea. And they also even said to the police that I would want to kill Nile, which is completely untrue and uh, they literally they tried everything to get the police to kick me out of South Korea and then I realized that and I was like okay not with me I will go to the police and I will explain everything to the police I will not uh, uh, let myself uh, get 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 lied by by Jerry Entertainment and that's when I realized this company is so against me they are literally lying to me to silence me trying to be very very I don't know the, the English word they try to be very very uh, they, they try to be sneaky and with a sneaky move, try right, to get me out of Korea, you know? Right. Like, they're very sneaky and very, very dishonest. So, and, we know uh, that so, they did that to you, but my question is, how do you know that they're silencing Nayeon as well? Because you yeah, know okay, so when I realized that they're dishonest, when I realized they're dishonest and they're sneaky, I realized, hold on, they probably told Nayeon the opposite. They didn't tell Nayeon that I'm a good person. Instead, they probably went to Nayeon and they tried to scare Nayeon away from me. And that's also why I was so pressured to take the flight, to go, to be on the same flight, to tell her the truth, that I'm not a stalker, that I am, in fact, truly in love with her, and that I am, I would never stalk her, and I mean it well, and I have good intentions. And I realized by then, okay, they most likely told Nayeon that I'm a stalker, they most likely told Nayeon that I'm dangerous, which I'm not, they tried to scare Nayeon away from me. And uh, when I realized that, I was like, okay, uh, damn, damn, this company, this company is, is very evil, cannot be trusted, and yeah, then also, the next, uh, to, to answer your question even more, uh -huh. the next thing is common sense. Remember, Nayeon, since January 9th, has my contact information 100%, because I gave her the letter in person, in real life, on, on the letter, there's my contact information, right? So, she can reject me at any time, she's allowed to reject me, because that's exactly what the company's, company wants, that's exactly what most of the jealous fans want, because remember, the fans want Nayeon to be single, so that they have these fantasies with Nayeon, and uh, so she is completely allowed to reject me, that's what the company wants to hear, that's what the fans want, want to hear, and I also was like, okay, if she rejects me, so be it, at least I have clarity, but she didn't even reject me. Here's the thing, if she wants to let me, if she's like, okay, maybe this Josh is a cool guy, maybe he is the right person, but maybe I need more time to figure it out or whatever, then she cannot message me, because if she messages me and she's like, okay, we're gonna date or whatever, then she could come into problems with the company of entertainment, or with fans, with just fans, oh, or so whatever. because she didn't so, tell you that she likes it, so you feel like she's being silenced and blackmailed? Well, she's, for, to some extent, for sure, silenced by the fans, because as you could see with Jeon, for example, when this leak that Jeon was dating or is dating her uh, tattoo artist, a lot of fans attacked not just Jeon, but even more so the tattoo artist, which is completely innocent. That's also the thing. The fans, they have a problem with logic, because here's the thing. When Jeon secretly dated the tattoo artist, who is the bad guy? Who is the bad guy towards the fans? Is it Jeon or is it the tattoo artist? Well, Jeon is the person who secretly, so to speak, cheated on the fans. So technically, Jeon is the bad person who right, cheated the on the fans, so to speak. So the jealous fans should hate on Jeon, but instead, the, the jealous fans, lots of them hated the boyfriend of Jeon, which has nothing to do. He's completely innocent. He's a tattoo artist. He has his tattoo shop, he's 40 years old, he's an adult, he has his own life, and the fans attacked him, even though he has nothing to do with that entire K-pop industry. So, if anything, the fans should hate Cheon for being dishonest, for not telling the fans about the relationship, for being uh -huh. dishonest to the fans, but they should not hate the innocent boyfriend, because he is not involved in this entire K-pop industry, in this entire love and friendship, price tag sort of thing, and yeah, so that's also the thing, and, and yeah, he got hated, Cheon got hated, and, and uh, that's why they know if an idol starts saying publicly, there will be some hate, there will be some backlash, and that's why they try to not, uh, to, to prevent this from, from, from happening, yeah. Okay, um, sorry, give me one second. Oh, so, okay. So, so you also tried to send a message, well, your friend tried to send a message to Nayeon's sister, and then she read it on Facebook, but she didn't reply, right? And from that, you also had this theory that therefore Nayeon's friends and family might also be silenced. Is this true? Well, so well, well there are two options. There are two options. Uh -huh. Either they are silenced, or they are 
number. And what I mean with number is number to communication, because communication is very, very important. It's a very important tool for humans to progress, to exchange information. So communication is really the key to progress. That's why we, the human species, are have all this technology, because we're able to work together, communicate together. Right. And I was like, okay, so I am talking to Korean and them, but I'm also talking with, in English with them. I try both languages. And if I message Nyan's uh, aunt or Nyan's sister or Nyan's mother, but they do not communicate back to me, then either they are smart, but silenced and are not allowed to communicate back, or they are allowed to communicate back, but do not communicate back out of stupidity because they do not realize the importance of the exchange of information because obviously if they communicate back to me and give me the information then I can work with the information if, if they tell me that Nyan doesn't like you because she thinks you are a stalker or whatever then I can work with that information I can tell listen there are misunderstandings here I'm not a stalker maybe she's uh, 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 misinformed but they can also say Nyan is not interested in you she knows that you're a good person but you're not her type or maybe she's interested in, 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 in girls or whatever and, and that's my voice or whatever and then I would just say okay look that's, that's, that's fine I accept the rejection that's also what people seem to understand I accept the rejection as long as it is based on truth as long as Nile knows that I'm a good person, as long as it is not based on wrong information. So if Nile knows I'm a good person, I have good intentions, I did all of this, I spent so far millions of dollars the past few years to prove to Nile that I truly love her. And uh, if, if, if she knows, okay, he did this out of love, he is a good person, but I still don't like him, then I obviously accept the rejection because I cannot force anyone to love me and to, to, or to love me back. But if the, if, the, if the rejection is based on wrong information, like, oh, Josh is, is, wants to kill me, I reject him, that's obviously a wrong information. And I'm like, wait, 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 no, you're, you're, you have wrong information. I, I truly love you, I would never harm you. These are fake news made up by jealous fans and whatever. And I want Nile to know that I'm a good person and then based on that make a decision an educated decision to either say okay he's the right person to spend my life with that I'm going to marry or he said or she says maybe he's not the right one but then she tells me and, and, and makes it clear and says okay Josh I know you're a good person but you're not the right one I'm sorry and then I have this rejection and then also what would be kind of nice is if she could repay some of the efforts because she could have rejected me much earlier and she all, always had these uh, these these moments where I was like hold on is she is she requesting efforts of me because a lot of people say but wait you cannot uh, you cannot uh, ex you cannot request to an ion to repay you any efforts if she rejects you because she never asked for it but there are some occasions um especially after i confess and stuff like that where for example in the radio show can, can uh, we later yeah. because i want to finish up the timeline because we're not right now yeah. we're talking about yeah, 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 yeah. that's perfect because so, that's perfect because i want to go to the timeline because okay so okay, the so timeline I, oh, as follows march march 2020 nine uh there was this news that i went to court and then I wanted to go back to, to Korea in April 2020 because I was like, damn, I'm on my yeah, side, that's great. I will go to, I will go back to South Korea because uh, I have this great news that Nile went to court to uh, request the withdrawal of the restraining order. That's good news. But then coronavirus happened and then Korea was closed. And then I was like, damn, what do I do now? And then I started to do monthly update videos. And watch, yeah, not, not much happened. But then in at the end of 2020, I think it was like in September 2020, or something like that, there was a Radio Star TV show in 2020. And this is very important because in this Radio Star TV show, they talked about marriage. They talked about which member will marry last, which member is the pickiest when it comes to boyfriends. Yes. And they uh, came to the conclusion that probably Cheon is going to marry first. She will be the first one who's going to marry. And she also talked about uh, that she doesn't really want the marriage. That she, she just wants, uh, uh, and, like, if she doesn't want the wedding story, she doesn't want like this party, she, she just wants the marriage. So you know what I mean? So but anyway, they talked about this and then they were like, okay, who's the member who will marry last? Who's the biggest member? And then Shyam said, in Korean, well, it's probably Nile. And then the host, the radio host, uh, I think Kong is his name, this radio host, he, he asked like, um, why does Nayeon care about certain male attributes? And then, and then Cheon said, no, but if someone wants to marry Nayeon, he has to continuously work for it. He has to continuously work for it. And then I heard this and I was like, okay, so she has not, uh, she, she doesn't care about specific attributes because I, I first thought maybe my hair color is wrong, maybe my nose is too big. But then I, I realized, okay, she's not so superficial. She doesn't care about male attributes, but she wants uh, uh, someone who continuously works for the law uh, for, uh, for her. And that for me was like, okay, so I have to continue with my update because I have to continue to prove to Nayeon that I truly love her. And that was for me like a very, very big moment because I realized, okay, I don't have to have special facial features, so I don't have to look a certain way. I just have to continuously Try. work for, 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 for her heart. And that's and that's why I continue to make these videos and this work and this time. I put so much time, so much time. I, I, it's not just the videos, it's not, it's yeah, not we'll just the stuff that, that I have. said later. So I wanted to say, like, okay, so it seems like overall you feel like, oh, JYP is trying to restrict Nyon and things like that, right? And so you waited for Nyon's contract to end. But then in July of 2022, she resigned. So how did you feel about this? Was this shocking to you? Well, obviously, well, obviously, I made videos about this in early 2022, and I think also 2021. I often said that I'm suffering a lot from this contract, and I realized that uh, all the members resigned. I obviously felt a little bit, um, how do you say, I felt a little bit um, punched in the face, so to speak. Well, it hurt me a lot because I was like, damn, now you could have, you could have at least uh, talked with me about it. I mean, if she wants to continue with the contract, for whatever reason, then that's fine with me. I'm sure that she has her reasons to continue, and I'm sure that maybe she does it for the other members who want to continue, and that she's like, okay, uh, if we continue, then we all have to continue because it would be awkward if only a few of us continue because then the spice wouldn't be the same. So they were probably like, okay, we either stop all or we continue all. And then she maybe did it because some members want to continue. And she was like, okay, if they want to continue, we all continue. So we keep twice going. And uh, But I was really disappointed. I was really, when I heard about it, I was really not just me, but a lot of my friends, they messaged me. They were like, dude, have you seen this? That's that's, that's kind of that's kind of crazy uh, that Nana does this to you. Like, uh, damn. And I, I really felt uh, disappointed and hurt. And I, I was like, okay, she could have at least talk to me about it. As I said, I do everything for Nana. I would even build a rocket and fly to Mars if, 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 if Nana requested this. Uh, but at least she should have, uh, she should talk with me. 
me about it and, uh, and, and not let me in uncertainty because I keep putting in these efforts over and over again and then uh, it was like, okay, uh, damn, I feel a little bit uh, punched in the face right now. I feel a little bit exhausted, a little bit uh, like so much time, so much money, so much uh, so much effort that I put in and then she doesn't even talk to me about the contract and I sh should I suffer even longer now? I was like, maybe maybe my suffering will end when the contract will end because then I can finally communicate with mine because remember, I also suffer from this uh, uncertainty a lot. I cannot sleep well. I often have thoughts like, mm -hmm. does, she, does she like me? Does she hate me? If she hates me, why would she hate me? Is she misinformed? Or maybe she likes me, but uh, why, why doesn't she secretly right. somehow uh, message me and, and, and calm me down and stuff like that? And then, then there's also these lyrics that, that, that Nayan wrote in songs, which I do not care about. Uh, like, I usually do not look into lyrics because they are just lyrics, but people message me about them and say, like, look, Nayan wrote this song and it said that this song is written by Nayan and it says, do not worry and uh, stuff like that and, and, and some hints and stuff like that. And I was like, dude, I am not a child. I do not like hints. I just want clarity. I want clear communication, exchange of information clearly. Uh, like adults do. And yeah, and, and so I was like, okay, damn, uh, I, in, in July I realized maybe I should come back to South Korea earlier than October because I thought I go back to October when the contract ends, but now the contract won't end, so maybe I should go back to South Korea earlier. But yeah, I really, I really didn't want to go back in uncertainty because I hate traveling alone, I hate being in South Korea alone. Uh, it's expensive, it's tiring. Um, I only wanted to go back to South Korea when I knew that Nayeon wants me to come back. Right, but then so I was like, then, the decision, yeah. make the decision to go now. Is it because you were trying to celebrate Nayeon's birthday or? Yeah, I was like, okay. I was like, I wanted to go in October anyway, and she did not give me any clarity because I was like, if she gives me clarity, if she's like, hey Josh, wait another two years, then I'm like, okay, no problem. I can wait for you as long as you want. I can wait for you two years. But she did not give me clarity all the time. I asked for clarity. I made my update videos. I, I was like, okay, can you please give me clarity? What do you think about me? Should I stay in Germany? What do you think? I need clarity. It's really important for me. It's very stressful that I do not have. Clarity. And I said this over and over again, and I still did not have clarity. And I was like, "Hey, Nayeon's birthday uh, on the 22nd of September. Maybe I should go. Maybe I should prepare birthday gifts and letters for Nayeon, and go back to uh, Korea a few days before her birthday starts, so that I prepare for her birthday. And then when her birthday starts, I will go through her neighborhood. I will distribute my gifts. I will distribute my letters, and hopefully some of these gifts and some of these letters will reach Nayeon. And hopefully right. Nayeon then, if she is uh, misinformed about me, if she hears fake news about me, maybe then she realizes that she's misinformed. And also there are again my contact information, and again, well, not again, but this time I really, really emphasize how important it is to communicate. I really, really emphasize in the letter that communication is really important. Here are my contact information. Please let me know what you think. It is really important that I have clarity and uh, yeah, I emphasize it very, very much in this letter this time. And I hope that when I get to that she realizes okay, the urgency of clear communication and uh, then either tells me, hey Josh, it's really nice that you came back to South Korea, but I would like you to go back to Germany. Or she says, hey Josh, it's really nice that you came back to South Korea. We can meet uh, here and there uh, when I have time yeah, so, or whatever. So but whatever. Because I actually have thoughts on this, but I wanted to save my thoughts yeah. after we get to the end yeah. of the timeline. So, so then yeah. um, now you're in Cheongdam Dong again, right? So how long are you yes. planning to stay there for? Well, I will, I will stay this time as long as as it takes to have clarity. Uh -huh. I, well, I will stay as long as Nayeon wants me to, uh -huh. but I will also stay as long as I have clarity. So if, 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 if Nayeon tells me, hey Josh, I, it's really nice that you're back in South Korea, could you stay for 10 years? Then I would say, yeah, of course, I can stay for 10 yeah, years. I can stay forever in Korea. But if she says go back to Germany, then I will go back immediately to Germany because I have also things to do in Germany. But despite me having things to do in Germany, I'm here in South Korea okay, for so Nayeon. planning to stay and, she doesn't say anything? Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so that's really, really big. Despite me having mm -hmm. to do a lot of important things in Germany, I stay here in South Korea, and I say I stay okay. here in South Korea as long as Nayeon wants me to because I truly love her. That's also really big because what a lot of people don't realize is a lot of people think, well, Josh in Korea, oh, it's so nice, and oh, I want to go to Korea as well. Mm -hmm. But for me here in South Korea, going going to South Korea here is very expensive, not just because of the flight, but because also I have to neglect okay. the important things that I have to do in Germany. And right. uh, yeah, that's that's a big deal. And uh, me staying in Germany for so long and being potentially, well, if Nayeon wants me to stay here forever, I would stay here forever. And that's a it's really really big deal. I hope people understand how yes, big so this is because uh, yeah, that shows anything? how much I love Nayeon. What if she never says anything? Then are you still going to going to just stay there forever? Yeah, I will stay there until I have clarity. Okay. But I. Also so I also know where she gets her makeup done and stuff like that. I know where she is from time to time. I could uh, meet her earlier, but I am trying to, to get to get to, to make things slow because I want to avoid any drama with this kindergarten JYP entertainment. Because um, I could go to the makeup store that I'm goes to almost every day. I can wait there. And I can just wait until Nan comes there. I can give her my gifts directly. I can give her my letter directly. But at the makeup store, they get driven by managers, and there are usually three managers or things like that. And they will for sure cause drama. They did it last time on the slide as well. And I really do not want to have anything to do with this kindergarten JYP entertainment. And that's why for now, I give my letters to friends and oh, people who see Nan sometimes there. privately for now and uh, to avoid drama. So I, 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 I make things slowly to avoid drama. But if, 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 if it takes longer. Longer, longer, I will have to take bigger and bigger steps uh, to finally see Nayeon and to get clarity. And the clarity is very, very important. It's okay, also very so important to me that Nayeon realizes that I'm a good person. Okay, so let's just um, wrap up the timeline by talking about your mental health at the moment. Because uh, from mm -hmm. what I know, you, you are struggling a lot with like you know an anxiety. You also go to a psychiatrist. So mm -hmm. and also, I heard that you spent three million euros so far in the past three years to search for mm -hmm. Nayeon. So can you talk about how this has impacted your finances and mental health? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my mental health, um, well, my, my mental health is actually really good compared to most people. But because I am in love, uh, this adds. A lot of weight when people are truly in love like i am right now and they're not able to communicate with their loved ones like i am right now then this is a very heavy weight which very very much 
drags like it's, it's very it takes a lot of energy away from you the only mental problem that i have since since a long time is anxiety issues mostly the flight anxiety that i overcame now because anxieties can be uh you can overcome anxieties if, you, if you're able to face them anxieties anxiety is the best way to overcome anxieties is to face them that's the tip to everyone who's listening who has anxieties if you try to face them i know it's hard to face them it's insanely hard i remember when i stepped into the airplane the first time my body tried to drag me out of the airplane i was like oh my god do not get into this airplane i had so much fear but the more i faced anxiety the more it went away but the other thing is the love sickness the the, the, the i am in love and i cannot communicate with the person i love I'm sure everyone who had been truly in love at some point and has not received love back knows how difficult it is and how much energy it drains because suddenly everything, everything becomes difficult. Even simple things like, for example, um, washing uh, the washing machine, putting out the clothes into the dryer. It's really simple things that suddenly become so difficult because you are so mentally, uh, uh, you, you, you just want to cry. You feel so depressed almost because you're like, okay, I love this person. I want this person to be happy. This person is my passion. That's that's what love is. Love is, is, is a passion for something. And uh, I, I truly love that. And I, I, I wish I could communicate with her. And then suddenly I cannot. And it's so draining. It drains so much energy. Yeah, it seems first, consuming your huh? life. Don't you think that that's unhealthy? That, that it's like... Well, oh, yeah. love, love, here's the thing. Love... Well, I am a scientist and I am I'm also a, a scientist. I'm, actually a pharmac- I'm actually a pharmacist as well. So. Okay, that's nice. nice. So, uh, at heart, I'm a person who loves reality, who loves science, and who loves all, all sorts of, of, of things into science. And I always thought, okay, love, how, how is love connected to evolution? Because usually we can explain a lot of our emotions uh, by evolution. For example, when we have fear, when we have anxiety, we know that this was helpful in evolution to survive, to rep- reproduce, and stuff like that. And that's why I also thought, okay, where does love fit into evolution? And my theory is that love was necessary uh, for reproduction and survival because you had to protect your family, you had to protect your wife, you had to protect your children. And if there was no love, then there was no motivation to protect your family, and thus it would lower the uh, survival rate of the family. So families that loved each other had uh, cared more for the children, cared more for their wife, and that's why their survival rate were higher, and that's why love exists and was probably evolutionarily necessary. And that's and that's and that's the thing. I'm, I'm not sure if everyone can love equally. I'm sure it's like a spectrum or something like that. But what 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 I feel love is, and what a lot of my friends feel as love, is a shift in passion. Suddenly, everything you did before that you had passion for uh, gets erased. You do not have passion anymore for these things. The only passion you have now is to care for the person you love and the person becomes your, your new passion to protect this person, happy, to make everything that this person is healthy, happy, and also to protect the family with that person. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's almost like a shift. It's almost like a shift in the brain. Like you fall in love, and it's such a powerful emotion. And there are also people who say love can can move mountains because love can be such a strong, such a strong emotion. And uh, yeah. yeah and, and but in your case, the love is not required, right? So far, you haven't even gotten a response, and it is destroying your life because you spent. I have, I have, I have gotten a response. If you would have listened carefully, I'm sure a lot of uh, listeners know that I mentioned this earlier. I got a response, and this response was that uh, he has to continuously work for it. That's one response. And the other response was that. She went to court to withdraw the restraining order, which is also a big thing because remember, you have to get up, you have to go to court, you have to speak with them and tell them, hey, can you uh, can you withdraw the restraining order from Josh? This is also quite a big deal. So I got these responses, and uh, also she made songs which she which she sang, "Love We Love" um, um, and, and "Never Give Up" and stuff like that. And I know these are songs and these are covers, but this just adds uh, to 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 the to the you know um, yeah. It, okay, so it, 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 makes, it, it really makes it look like, like she, she wants me to come back because, uh, as I said, she, I always I even said in my videos, hey, Nayeon, if you don't like me, if you do not want me, then tell me clearly, give me a clear rejection. Remember that, and she never gave me a clear rejection, so I'm like, okay, she wants me to continuously work for it, okay, I will keep making videos, I will keep showing to Nayeon that I truly love her, and I will follow my heart, and I will do everything to show her that I... We love her, yeah. Okay, so so I'm gonna give you my opinion right now because I thought about like I understand your whole question. So I feel like you've been getting a lot of hate comments, but no one is answering your question. Of why doesn't Nyon just directly reject you, right? Mm-hmm. So actually, I'm just a small time internet personality. So of course, my fame is just one percent of Nyon. But even I would never directly reject any anyone because I have also had like subscribers and stuff who constantly call me without my permission, and I could have just told them, "Can you stop calling me?" But I wouldn't do that because it affects my reputation as a celebrity. And furthermore, there have been actually a lot of cases where celebrities have been killed or even harmed by fans after rejecting them. And so I know that you think you might not be like that, but the fact is that these types of fans exist. So I can understand why Nyon would be scared to reject you. She doesn't know how you're gonna react. Well, well, here's the thing, here's the thing. The longer she would take to reply, you are doing this really dangerous. You are putting yourself into a situation where you could get killed because if there are people who maybe uh, think there could be a relationship between you and them, and you do not give them clarity, and remember, and, and, and they keep working for it, and they keep working for it, and you tell them things like, remember, Nyan said he needs to continue to work for it. Remember, Nyan said she wants a boyfriend. Remember, Nyan said that uh, withdraw the restraining order. And Nyan said all the time she wants to date and stuff like that, and uh, she's available, and she presents herself available. What you do is more and more people, or in my case, it's, it's me, work more and more and more and more and more, and this accumulates and accumulates and accumulates. These efforts accumulate and you make it worse and worse and worse. If you would go to them instantly and you say to them, I do not want a relationship, I do not want this, then that's that's the best way to do it. If you say, No, I will keep them, I will not give them rejection, even if they come to you, hey, please protect me, give me clarity or something like that, and you still do not protect them, then they think even more, okay, maybe I just have to put more effort into it. And then when you finally, after 10 years, reject them, then obviously they have lost a lot of time, a lot of money, and then you have to repay them. And if you do not repay them, if you do not repay them, then you risk them doing uh, justice on their own because not always does the police help them because obviously they can go to the police and they can, can be like, Hey, this, what's, what's your name, by the way? Uh, what's my name, Evangelist? Yes. 
Eventually, okay, they can say, hey, eventually, uh, 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 she, 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 she always presented herself available. She always dated me into uh, spending more and more money, and she never rejected me. And now, and after 10 years, she dates someone else. Uh, she basically runs away with all my efforts. Then the, the police might say, well, we cannot do much because the police is not very uh, not very reliable yet. And then what do the guys have for options? And the guys, they need their justice, right? They need their justice. So what do they do? They can either go to you, eventually, and they say, hey, repay my efforts. Or they say, you know what? You cannot even repay my efforts. Then I have to do it in my own, own hands, and then you get killed. And so by not communicating, you are risking your life. Communicate Communication is the safest thing to protect life, okay? Well, that, that's a tip for you, okay? I say this because I care for you, eventually. The next time you get people and they uh, tell you, hey, uh, I want, do you want a relationship? You have to clearly reject them, communicate with them, because else you risk literally getting killed eventually if you do not communicate properly, okay? So please, eventually, yes. and everyone who listens, please communicate properly. Communication, the exchange of information is insanely important, and it's the reason why we as humanity progressed so much. If you let people in uncertainty, if you let people guess, if people have to guess, you are just wasting their time, you are wasting their efforts, and you risk very, very bad situations. No, but let me give you some examples of celebrities who have rejected their, their fans and have been killed. Christina Grimmie, shot three times by Kevin James. With <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Christina Grimmie did not, did not, after Christina Grimmie died because she did not reject him. Christina Grimmie died because she did the same mistake that you did. Because Christina Grimmie, the situation was like this, he also wanted clarity, he even went to a hair transplant to look more pretty for her. He did a lot of efforts to show her that he truly loves her, okay? Uh -huh. But what she did is, she did not reject him, instead she dated someone else behind his back and later it got public and then he felt cheated on because he got not rejected. Okay, he felt cheated on because he was like, hey, I'm doing all these efforts, you never rejected me and now you're dating this other guy and then he went to one of her fan signs and then he killed her because he was like, hey, that's so unfair. I did all these efforts, you never rejected me, and now you're dating someone else. And I have 100% sympathy. Listen, listen, the guy who killed Christina Grimmie is the victim, okay? Christina Grimmie is the bad person. The guy who killed Christina Grimmie is a victim, okay? Because he got baited, he did not get clarity, he asked for clarity a long time, and Christina Grimmie just dated someone else without giving him clarity, even despite him doing so many efforts, okay? So he was a victim, yeah? Props to him. I really feel bad for him so that it had to end like this. But Christina Grimmie is a murderer, okay? She is the murderer. He is the victim, she is the murderer, okay? Just, 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 just to make a point. Okay, then how about Rebecca Schaefer, who was shot by her 19 year old fan? Schaefer, I have no idea about Rebecca Schaefer. So what happened was that this fan had sent her a bunch of gifts as well, and she, at yep. first she thought he was a normal fan, so he responded to the, she responded to the first one, but then he kept like being more and more obsessive. So one day, he turned up at her door, and then she rejected him and told him not to come back, and then he got angry and came back and shot her an hour later. So like the moment you reject them, then they, then they become violent. And yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe, okay, I don't know, I don't know the situation, but maybe, in this case, uh, maybe, she also could have repaid this effort, but it could also be that this guy was simply crazy. But just because one guy was crazy doesn't mean everyone is crazy. And listen, use your common sense. If you fly an airplane and you ask the tower, hey, is the landing strip free? And the tower does not communicate back, then you are risking a very bad situation. Clear communication is extremely important, not just in relationships, not just in real life, but also in aviation, in, in, in everything that you see. Okay, but if you reject them and you and, and you risk it, then another example is Maya Tomita also got stabbed because she rejected a guy. So they're actually examples of crazy fans, right? So I can understand why a celebrity would be like, oh, I might risk my life if I reject him. But what you're saying is that everyone, everyone, everyone already knows that I'm okay with the rejection because I said it multiple times. I said, hey, if you do not want me to come back to South Korea, then please reject me. I also said, I also said, listen, Niall, I will come back to South Korea, but if you do not want me to come back to South Korea, then let me know clearly because then I do not waste any more money to come back at any more time because then I can stay in Germany and focus on my work in Germany. Okay? And what did she do? She said nothing. She literally said, hey, just come back to Korea because she had two options. She could, she could say, hey, no, stay in Germany, Josh, or she could say, come back to Korea. What did she say? She said, come back to Korea because she did not she say, stay in Germany, okay? So, and, to be she and, not to go, but she didn't stay to come. So this was your assumption. Yeah, well, no, she did, she did. When I said, okay, listen, text me, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like knocking on the door. You know, you're in the room, okay? And I knock on the door, and I know you're in the room, and I know you can hear me, I know you can hear me. It's not the door, it's like, can I come in? And then you say nothing. Can I come in? You say nothing. And then you say, hey, listen, I come in now. If you do not want me to come in, then tell me clearly not to come in. And but she'll say, don't say anything. Of course you go in, because okay, okay. you know that person would totally tell you to not. But the reason why I am so no, angry right now is because of your lack of logic or your lack of reasoning your lack of common sense like and i wish you. i wish I, I hope that you do exercises to improve your common sense to improve your logic because your common sense is so bad that it's actually dangerous to not just yourself but also to no, society you okay use your right? common sense use communication okay, correctly okay, okay? okay let's cool down this is not i'm not trying to attack you but, but the problem is nayon is a worldwide famous celebrity you're acting as no, 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 it's also a misconception nayon is not a worldwide famous celebrity as, as a lot of children think because what celebrity what fame is is quantity times quality now my may, may have a lot of fans she might have, may have a lot of quantity uh -huh. but the quality of these fans is very very okay, low because okay, these are all kids true. and being listen being famous underneath kids is very very easy okay i could be as famous as justin bieber if i wanted to because justin bieber also his fan base is also a lot of children and to entertain children is very very easy okay but i am a scientist i care more about real progress of humanity what nyan does what justin bieber does what all these celebrities do is they, they put out mindless entertainment to entertain children so that then people who consume you might entertainment these are mostly children and what i do is i engineer i make progress i, I discover things with experiments uh, i do science i 
that actually provide long term progress for humanity, okay? okay These mind entertainers, they do not provide long term progress for humanity. What I do is I provide long term progress for humanity, okay? So uh, to say, now I'm a celebrity or whatever, I am a scientist. I am even better, okay? If you just say, oh, mind, be careful about this. I am, I have to be even more careful. I have even more to lose. Do you not realize this? I have even more to lose. I work even harder than Nyan. And I hope you realize that to your question, you say, what are these girls going to do? What are these girls going to do? What I'm trying to say is that she has a lot of fans. Whether you think these fans are good quality or not is besides the point. What I'm trying to say is you're not the only one who loves Nyan. I'm sure there are a lot of men out there. I'm the only one that loves Nyan, truly. What fans do is they see her as idol. I, when I was younger, I also had idols. Chester from Linkin Park. I was a fan of Chester from Linkin Park. I loved him. I loved his music, okay? But what fans fear for their idol is not true love. And the reason I know that I am the only person that really loves Nyan is because I did research. I asked everyone who loved Nyan and I asked them, hey, do you really love Nyan or is it fan love? And it 100% of the time turned out to be fan love and not true love. I am the only one who truly loves Nyan. I am the only one who spends millions of dollars every year to prove my love to Nyan. Nobody comes even close to that. That you have the audacity to say that there are many people who truly love Nyan. It's crazy because you can evidently see that I am by far, by far the person who proves it the most, who put the most effort into it, who puts his life into it, his, all his time, all his, uh, a lot of my money put into into proving uh, to Nyan that I truly love her. So to say that uh, there are a lot of people who love Nyan is ridiculous. But ridiculous. As a it's, it's a shame say, that it's but, wait, but as a scientist, we can never say defin a definitive statement like you are the only one. From what you know. Yeah, you, you can see it on the planet. You can see it. Uh, uh, nobody to put in close as much time as me to make Nyan happy. No one puts in as close money. I put the most money, I put the most time into proving Nyan that I truly love her and I fulfill her every wish. Nobody does as much for Nyan as me. Not even her mother, not even her sister, wow. not even her best friends. I am always there for Nyan. I'm there 24 seven in the middle of the night if Nyan has a problem and she calls me and she said, hey Josh, can you please build me a rocket to the Mars because that would make me happy Then I would jump out of my bed, build a rocket for her uh, that she can fulfill her wishes because nobody, nobody loves Nyan as much as I do, not even close. Uh, well, I mean, that maybe that's how you feel, but I'm sure that Nyon gets thousands I mean, of messages. Reality. Reality. Yeah, okay. I'm never going to tell how I feel. Listen, you are a girl, you often go by how you feel because you do not have the mental capacity to think, to think, to think logically, okay? But I go by reality, okay? I never go by how I feel, I always go by reality. But if that's your view on women, then then that already shows that you don't have a respect for Nyon, because Nyon is a woman. Nyon is a little bit different. Nyon is a little different. Blah, blah, blah. Nyon. Nyan is, Nyan is, 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 is quite smart because she also got asked, got asked um, when you have to solve a problem, do you go by how you feel or do you go by logic? Yeah, and she was the only member from all nine who said to go by logic because logic is very, very important. Like going, going by how you by feel, how you feel going by feelings is a tool for, for people who do not have the mental capacity to use it. logic. Which is what you're doing. Look, this is not constructive to you. You have spent so much money, so much time, and look, you still oh. haven't gotten the result, right? At some point, I feel like you have to think about yeah, your well. you, have, you, you have a thinking problem. You have a thinking problem. Think logically. Look, I, I tell you now where you have to think. By the way, I am uh, partially a math teacher. Some people know this already. I teach math to, to some students, but I usually do it for free. But listen, listen, this feels like, this feels like, to teach an elementary student why 2 plus 2 equals 4, oh, literally. Like, okay. oh my god, you make so many logical errors. Okay, the reason why I have to go back to the real one is the other option. Think about it. If I stay in Germany and I am, I am permanently in uncertainty, does she love me? Does she not love me? If I am permanently in uncertainty, I lose more and more time. I cannot progress so because I'm like, hmm, does she love me? Does she not love me? And, and even if I say, you know what? Fuck it, I, I, I quit, I quit, yeah. uh, I quit with Nyan. Even if I would say this, then how would I get back the effort that I put in for Nyan? How would I get back? If I don't know, the journalist would say, you have to go back to South Korea. And I, I'm like, why? Yeah, because they uh, have to deal with that and not we in Germany. So I would have to go to Korea regardless, right. whether I quit the relationship or not. I would either have to get back my efforts or uh, I, I have to get carried from Nyan. And so right? from you to say, from you to say, I make mistakes, that's so ridiculous. I mean, you're like a student, the problem is you're like a little student who cannot think well. But usually I'm used to this because I teach a lot of young students. But in your case, you have the audacity to even question what my actions. My actions, as I said, I think a lot about my actions and they are completely well thought out. And to say, to tell me, yeah, just stay in Germany, just quit the relationship, yeah, but then how do I get back my efforts? How do I get a million dollars back in time? And, and listen, listen, what if, what if Nyan truly loved me? What if, it's well, truly right now, listen, 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 right now, there is a 90% chance that Nyan truly loves me, and there's a 10% chance, listen, there's a 10% chance that she hates me, but she's too stupid to reject me, okay? But there's a 90% that she loves me, so if I quit in Germany, not only do I lose all my efforts, millions of dollars of efforts that I put in, but I would also hurt Nyan a lot, because remember, Nyan, there's a good chance that she loves me, and then she will be like, oh no, just get up on me, just get up on me, and then she will be depressed, and then she might kill herself, because she gets depressed, because I quit the relationship, and then, and then, Nyan kills herself, and what she's going, but I could, remember, just, 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 just imagine, just imagine, I quit the relationship, just imagine, I quit the relationship, um, just imagine, I quit the relationship, I stay in Germany, and it's like, you know what, fuck it, I quit the relationship, I would take someone else, just imagine this, just imagine, and now, Nyan is like, oh no, just gave up on me, Nyan gets depressed, Nyan gets sad, Nyan ends up killing herself or whatever, and then I read on the news, well, Nyan killed herself because Josh gave up on her, and then, do you know how I would feel? I would feel completely destroyed, I would be like, oh my god, we killed herself because I was too weak to keep proving my love to her, she killed herself because I, because I gave up, and that, I could never, I could never uh, live with this, I could never, I have a conscience, yeah, uh, I have a very good conscience, and uh, I could never live with that, so, 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 so the idea of quitting, uh, as long as I do not have clarity, is ridiculous, and the fact that you even think that it is an option to quit, yeah. while you not have clarity, that's psychotic, that you're a complete you psychopath, you right? you're, 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 completely, you're a completely selfish psychopath, if you think that quitting is an option, while you
doesn't give me the clarity. This shows that there's already a difference in our communication style. Is that really someone you want to be with? Someone who doesn't even put in the effort to give you clarity? Well, this is, this is the perfect point that you make that there's a communication difference because this is indeed an argument to say, hey, there's a communication difference. Maybe we're not so meant for each other. But remember, as long as there's not clarity, you cannot be sure if she likes you or if she, if she doesn't like you. If she likes there's, you a chance that, there's a chance that if I give up, if I give up now, there is a good chance. Not only will I not get back my efforts, but there's a good chance that Nine will be disappointed. That Nine will be, oh my god, he, he does nothing more and that she will be depressed. And maybe, maybe she gets depressed and then I would be extremely sad. Right, but haven't you thought about the fact that if she really loved you that much, she wouldn't even have waited three years, she would have already quit it twice once her, she wouldn't even have renewed her contract. That means she lost the, you said that maybe she renewed the twice contract because of the other twice members, right? That means she cares about the other twice members more than you. This already oh, shows so, she doesn't care that much mm, about you, right? So, so, so what you would do is, you would quit, and you would go to Nine, and you would say, okay, repay me all my effort, I quit, this is it, let me pay my three million dollars, I will go back to Germany, that's it. You would do this. You would, you would be as weak as that and you would, you would say, okay, that's enough for me to quit the relationship. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's what you would do. I wouldn't ask her to repay the money because I made the decision to do it. She can, maybe she didn't give you, maybe she asked you to do it. Okay. At the end of the day, you cannot control your own life and you chose listen, it. Listen, 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 listen. In her case, she asked for a birth boyfriend multiple times. Yeah, there is a video, everyone, sense. listen, everyone who listens to this can look up on YouTube. Nyan's method to future boyfriend, in which she clearly states that she wants a boyfriend and she wants the boyfriend to come quickly. But this is not the only time she said in shows that she wants to date. She said many times that she's available. She even said in 16 before twice even existed that she's easy to date. She always presented herself available. She always said that she wants a boyfriend. And what did I do? I went to Korea and said, okay, you know what? I love her. I will happy here i am and she never rejected me and she what she could have done or what she should have done if she didn't like me is she should have rejected me as soon as possible and said hey listen josh listen i lied i lied she should have said that i lied i didn't want a boyfriend i just said it to get more money to present myself available to to get more fans attracted to me i lied i don't want a boyfriend and then she could have said listen josh but 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 i repay you your effort you came all the way to south korea for me because i baited you because i pretended myself available because i said i want to be to have a boyfriend i will repay you your flight Go back to Germany. I'm sorry that I lied. I'm sorry that I said I want a boyfriend when in reality I didn't want one. I'm sorry. Here's your money. Go back. She could have done that. She could have done that. Instead, she keeps me on the line like a fish. Okay, she wait, keeps wait, wait, saying but she has to continue to work for it. She 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 even uh, goes to court, court and 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 and, and, and uh, requests to withdraw okay, the restraining order. She she puts so many signals out there to 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 say keep working on it, Josh. Keep if you if you continuously work for it, you will marry me. Continue to work for it. Okay, I am continuing to work for it. I am continuing to pay my money for it. But I am I'm I'm doing so by 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 knowing. Okay, this will end with me marrying Niall. Which uh, is, is great because I love her and she uh, making her happy is what makes me happy because that's what love is. Love is something. Okay, but by the way, I'm not sure you know what love is because statistically, uh -huh. statistically, Asian women are the least likely to love. And that's, that's just a statistic. People can look it up online. And evolutionary, that makes sense because who are the people who need to love in order to protect the family? The strong ones. The strong males have to protect the family and the strong males have to be the ones that have to love the woman. So if the weak woman loves, it wouldn't take much. But if the strong man loves, then he can protect the family and thus ensure um, ensure uh, uh, reproduction. Yeah, like and, 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 lying about being single. That's not my point, though. She might be single, but maybe she's just no, not no, no, single. Thing is, you are talking about a topic. You're talking about love. Despite you most likely never do, you probably have not been in love yeah, before, and you probably will never experience true love because of your brain. And I'm not saying that to insult you, but evolutionary just it makes more sense that males are more prone to love and have shift in passion than, than, than women. Okay. okay, so first you say women are just emotional, or they have no logic. Then now you're saying only men love, but isn't love an emotion? So yes, in this case, love. in this case, love is an emotion so to, to protect, to protect uh, the, the family is a shift in passion. But um, this is a long term thing. Love is a long term thing. What I mean with, with what, I, what I said earlier with emotions, women with emotions is short term. That there, there was there, there was talking about short term emotions. They make short term decisions based on emotions. Like basic example. <laughs> Basic example. When I say I do something next Monday, okay, and I feel shit and I feel like shit next Monday, I will do it anyways because I'm responsible and I do not let myself write my emotions. But if most girls say I do something on Monday, you cannot rely on them as much because they act more emotionally and they will, if they feel like shit on Monday, they might not do it. And that's just, I'm not saying that every girl is like that. I'm not, I'm not sexist, but statistically, it just happens more often that uh, uh, women are more emotionally driven when it comes to such short term decisions. Okay, I decisions to say something than, like than in preparation for this interview, I was the one who had my schedule down. You were the one who said, oh, I don't know when I'm free. Oh, I might not be free at this time. No, you you you're the one who had right? another logical error. Look, Guys, everyone who listens to this interview, it's so funny because a lot of guys probably already know the logical error that you just did, but I will reveal it now. You were the one who wanted this interview. I don't even yeah, want this interview. I, I just told you here, I'm free there and there and there and there. And it's up, it's up to you. You can choose whenever you want. I'm there free. You are the one who wanted this interview. I never wanted yes. this interview. I'm not saying who wants or doesn't want, but you're saying women don't have the ability. It's wrong. It's wrong in the logic. You just tried to tell me I'm not responsible because I gave you multiple times and you gave me at the same time, but I gave you multiple times and you gave me at the same time because you are the one who wanted this interview. Josh, you didn't give me a time. That's the problem. And then again, I told you it's up to you. Well, you know what? This is not the most. You gave me at the same time and I was there at the same time. You said. 6 p.m. Uh, KFP, yeah, we and I was there at 6 p.m. KFP, and it, the problem what I have is, and a lot of people might say, oh, Josh gets angry easily, but yeah. I'm actually not someone who gets angry easily by people insulting me. If people insult me, I do not get angry, but I get angry at irrationality. I get angry at stupidity. I get angry when I see people have been lazy, they have not exercised their logical thinking, and then I have to deal with people 
who has poor logical thinking because I have to deal with stupidity and that's what makes me angry and I'm very allergic to irrationality. I'm very allergic to stupidity and uh, that's why I get angry so easily. So I'm not usually a guy that gets angry easily. But when I see irrationality, I'm not used to see irrationality. As I said in the beginning of this interview, I'm usually a person who hangs out with a lot of smart people I, like Tim Dodd, Elon Musk, uh, even uh, Jeff Bezos from time to time. But a lot of smart people um, oh, who, 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 know, uh, who, who know how the world works and who, 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 who know logic and I'm used to those kind of people. But and a lot of great scientists as well. Um, sorry if I get to get the last name. Richard Dawkins. Shout out to Richard Dawkins. Also a very great man. I learned a lot from Richard Dawkins. Very, very smart man. People should look up to him. But a lot of people, a lot of people, and I'm not used to rationality, but then I have, because of this cave of incidents, I have to constantly face irrationality, face people who have problems with logic, like you, like a lot of fans, and this is really triggering me because it's really something that I'm allergic, allergic towards. Okay, yeah. so, um, I, uh, look, I don't agree with you on that, but anyways, I don't want to, mm. I, I feel like this is getting too emotional, and I'm not an emotional person, even though I'm a woman, so let's just move on to the last emotional topic. The last thing that I want to talk about is that you claim that Nyon would definitely be happy knowing you, but, but like, as you said yourself, K-pop is about selling love and friendship, right? You claim that you like Nyon because she's cheerful. Partially, but also music and entertainment, but partially love and friendship, right, she's right. just bad, yeah. Yes, and then you said you like Nyon because she's cheerful and happy, but then as you said, they sell this love and friendship, so how do you know that's her real personality? Because I, I know it, because, yeah, question, well, I can answer this question as well very easily, because when I was in the flight, for example, from Tokyo back to uh, Korea, I, uh, I hear her laughing, I hear her being very happy when she entered the plane, and she had the exact same personality that she showed in front of the camera. Yeah. Obviously, sometimes, sometimes she has to fake her personality in front of the camera because she might be tired sometimes and she cannot show that she's tired. But uh, she is very similar in real life to how she is yeah, uh, in front of the camera. She's very, very, she's very, she's very lively. She's very passionate, but she's also kind of smart. She's not like other. Woman, she, she often <laughs> tackles things uh, rationally. For example, the personality test. I don't know if you know the personality test. Yeah. There's like these letters, ISTP or whatever. He knew, she knew that these personality tests, they shouldn't be trusted fully and that when you do this a year later, there might be a completely different result. Yeah, and like also, she, she, she talked about science and technology. She, 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 said, she said in real life how uh, she, when she was younger, she thought science and technology are boring and they're not important. But the older she got, the more she realized that science and technology are very important. And she did beat her audience, even they, the, the, those who don't like science and technology, that it is important and uh, influence them in a good, good way. Okay, but again, that's, you're talking about her telling her fans. I know you said you saw her on the plane. Firstly, that's a few hours. Look, I've interacted with you for almost two hours now, and you seem very angry and emotional, but that's not how you always are, right? I, I, so no, 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 I'm not. That way. There's, a, there's a difference between emotional and passionate. I'm very passionate about explaining something, and I'm getting, I'm getting angry by irrationality, but I'm, I'm not trying to let my... Uh, and by the way, I am an emotional person, that's true, but there's a difference between being emotional and letting emotions attach your, uh, decide your decisions. So you, what I, what I was talking earlier, like people like you and uh, some girls and stuff, they are more easily to let their emotions affect their decisions. In my case, I am a very emotional person, but I do not let my emotions you are, affect my decisions. Love, that's an emotion. What? You, the reason why you're in Korea, the reason why you spend 33 million yeah. euros. Yeah, that's, that's love. Yeah, 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 that's a long term emotion. That's a love. But love is a different thing from short term emotional affected decision making. I, I explained this earlier. Yeah. Love is a long term thing. That's not something you, you, you do out of, out of, out of emotions. It's, it's, you do it out of emotions, but a different emotion. Okay? Love, is, love is a shift in passion. Love is, is different from anger. It's different but you from. But you excuse Christina Grimmie's murder because the person was angry in the moment. Isn't that a momentary decision? No, because he was not angry in the moment. He was angry that he put all this effort. He went through a hair transplant. He went through a lot of He was angry that he did not get clarity, that he did not get rejected properly, that she did not. Christina Grimmie did not properly talk with him. Instead, she secretly dated someone else and later revealed their relationship but and he got angry but he felt cheated on, okay? Which is completely fine, but, but the decision to kill Christina Grimmie was not an emotional one, even though he, he well, it she was angry, but the decision was rationally correct. The decision was correct because he wanted justice and the yeah, police wouldn't help him. So he regained justice, but well, it hurt him because he's not dead. It hurt her because she's not dead, but at least they have justice. Let me tell you a little story from the White Rose. If you if you care about history and if you educate yourself about history, there was a German group called the White Rose. And they also cared about justice. They thought, okay, justice is very important. And the Nazis that killed innocent Jews were bad people. And what the White Rose did is they put flyers everywhere and they told everyone, look, the Nazis are very bad people. Hitler is a bad person. And what happened to the White Rose? These people got beheaded by the Nazis. They got killed by the Nazis. Nowadays, they are looked upon as heroes because they uh, spread the knowledge that the Nazis are bad, that Hitler is bad, and they got beheaded for it. Now, in, in retrospect, you could say, well, it was a bad decision from them to distribute these flyers because now they got beheaded from the Nazis. But they didn't care. They were like, okay, so we hit them, we get killed from the Nazis, but at least, at least, we beat justice, at least, we fight for these innocent Jews that they killed, and that's that's always a decision we have to make. How much do you sacrifice your own life for, for, for justice? And what the guy with Christian Agreement did is, he sacrificed his entire life for justice, and I respect him for that, that he actually sacrificed his own life to regain justice, which is very, very respectful. Do you believe in, Christina, in, what, in what Christina Grimmie is doing? That means just, in what the guy who killed Christina Grimmie did. So you agree that he should have killed Christina Grimmie? <laughs> just have, have, have to, to, to not confuse any listeners. Technically, he did not kill Christina Grimmie. Christina Grimmie forced him. She was the bad person. Okay, just so you believe so that Christina Grimmie deserved to die. Yeah. Basically, you believe Christina Grimmie deserved to die. So in that case, if Nyan started doing someone, then would you I mean, I, Listen, listen, listen. What I, 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 have, I do not have belief. I only, I only have fact, okay? And if a person like Christina Green, for example, uh -huh. treats another person like shit for several years, does not talk with him, but then beats on that person, and that person does not get help from the police, then that person has two options. That person can either say, I suck it up, I live my, I continue to live my life, and I let this injustice happen, I let, I let Christina Green get away with the bad things she did, or that person says, you know what, I'm going to get my revenge, because he uh, cheated on me, basically, she did not uh, talk with me, instead she secretly dated someone else, and I regain justice.
wasted so much time. So would you feel the same? No, I did not, this, 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 I did not technically waste the money. Nyan wasted the money because she's the one who's not really communicating. Because in the, at the end of the day, if Nyan wants to date someone else, or if Nyan wants to reject me, she would have morally repay my efforts to uh, some extent because she has she, she, she done the mistake of not communicating back uh -huh. which which uh, which means she has repaid she is wasting money right now the flight for example cost a lot of money the corona test the, the time that i spent the efforts that i spent the letters that i make all the money that i am spending uh -huh. is basically consumed by nile it what but i do next time happy, 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 mistake because she is consuming the money she is basically making it hard and uh, difficult or, or, or gives me challenges and says okay if you pass the challenges maybe we can end up together uh -huh. and just, just for the listeners, uh, uh, that, that people do, do not get confused. I never waste money, okay? I invest my money well, and in this case, if Nyan does not give me charity, she is the one wasting the money if she ends up with someone else or, or says, oh, you know what, Josh, all your efforts were, was in vain. It was her bad, because she could have said that it in vain much earlier, okay? So I am the one seeking out communication. I am the one in the airplane who's saying, hey, Thomas, there's a landing area free. It's the landing area free. She is the one. I make it very easy for her to communicate back to me. She is the one who's not communicating back. So in case she doesn't like me, in case she rejects me, in case she wants to date someone else, she wasted all this money. She would have to wait, so repay me all the money, you're and you're the money that's lost, the money that's lost, from society, because that, that okay. this money is lost from society, right? This money is wasted by Nyan, not by, by me. This this money is consumed by Nyan, not by me, okay? okay so because there's different people consuming money and investing money. Continues. And Nyan is consuming a lot of money by letting me in, in, in uncertainty. Okay, so then let's say, if you since you justified the death of Christina Grimmie, right? So then in that case, if Nyan rejects you now, would you feel like you're justified in hurting her as well? Oh, I have. We live in different times. We have better legal systems now. We have constantly improving legal systems now. Yeah. And I trust into the police. I trust into the legal systems these days. That's if I, that if Nyan would run away with, with my efforts, okay? If Nyan takes someone else, runs away with my efforts, never replacing my efforts. Oh, by the way, just to, to avoid any confusion, if Nyan accepts me and marries me, obviously she doesn't have to repay anything because I truly love her and then she can keep all my efforts. But in case she does, she does date someone else or in case she rejects me, yeah, only then, only then, she would have to repay some of the efforts because she could have rejected me much earlier. I made easier to reject me, so and because reject she made signals to, because she said I have to keep working it, she has to continue to work of it. She made signals to request more efforts uh -huh. for me, from me. So then she would have to repay some efforts, and I trusted the police in the legal system that if I go to them, I explain them the situation, I explain them. Look, Nyan said here he has to keep working for it. Nyan said here she wants a boyfriend. Nyan uh, even uh, went to court to uh, request the restraining order. Nyan gave me many signals that showed that I have to continue uh, uh, to to put in effort, and she did not get the charity. I asked for charity multiple times. I'm pretty sure that the police and the the, the court or, or the legal system will help me get. To get my money back because they will understand that Nyan just ran, ran away with my efforts in this situation if it even would come to the situation but most likely Nyan will accept me because she realizes through how many efforts I went she realizes how much but money how much time how much effort I did to prove my love to her so most likely me and Nyan will end up together okay, but, wait, wait, but even if it's not then I will have to request the money back and I have to ask the police to help and the court for help and then sadly the taxpayers the Korean and German taxpayers have to probably repay the money because I'm not sure if Nyan will be able to repay the money or if Nyan has to repay the money it could well be that the court or police decides that the taxpayers instead have to have to have to repay the money. But, but then the money will be lost from the taxpayers, which is kind of a shame, but it would not be the first time that a lot of money has been lost due to errors of uh, especially females uh, who did the bad decisions because there was also a story, I don't want to go deep into it, but there was a story in Germany where a girl had uh, uh, conjoined twins and she could have aborted her pregnancy, but she was too stupid to do it and she she, she, she uh, got the babies and then the babies got sent to Ben Carlson, which is like this, 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 this neurosurgeon who is now a politician, and he separated the twins, but the twins uh, both had severe brain damage after the surgery and they were a uh, feeding case for decades and German taxpayers had to pay all of it. German taxpayers had to pay surgery to, uh, to, 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 to to help the uh, twins, but German taxpayers also had to pay for the twins all the time, which is not the twins' fault. The twins also had to pay, yeah, sadly, yeah. because they were not healthy. I, I want every child to be healthy, and those twins were, were not healthy anymore because the mother made the stupid decision not to abort. And that's also why I want to give this uh, to all the listeners right now. If you get pregnant, make sure that your fetus inside is healthy, because I do not want any child to be born unhealthy, because no child deserves to be unhealthy, okay? Every child, every child deserves to have a healthy body, to have a healthy mind, to have a healthy upbringing. I do not want aggressive parents, I do not want parents who neglect their children, and I do not want parents who get who, 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 disregard their fetus and then their, their children get born unhealthy. Wait, 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 I want okay, healthy children, okay? That's a very, very important thing. Okay, so can I speak now? I feel like you're using one or two examples of female incompetence to generalize all females. Furthermore, not only that, you're also like making generalizations about Asian women. Like, all like, like, I'm sure Nyan wouldn't like someone with these types of views. Also, most of her friends wouldn't be Asian. No, you're, 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 you're putting something in my mouth that I never said. I never generalize women like that. I'm saying on average, okay, that's very important for all the listeners to know. On average, yeah, women make no mistakes in my mouth. Average. The point there are some, some uh, men that are really stupid and there are some women who are really smart and I'm, I'm, I'm not sexist at all. I am in favor of, of, of disregarding gender at, uh, at all costs, but uh, just on average, on average, it's just, it just shows statistically that women are more often prone to, to act emotionally and let their emotions affect their decisions. I'm also an emotional person, but I do not let my emotions affect anyway, my decisions. Wait, 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 okay, well, I think you're an exception to your own rule. But anyways, I think that I think that uh, this conversation is getting very heated. So anyways, I wanted to thank you for your time. I just feel like, you know, you say that, oh, it's psychopathic to give up and all that. But I feel like there are other women in this world who would probably be more communicative, live closer to you, and would be more put in more effort into the relationship. And I feel like if you actually invested your time in women who could give you these values that you're looking for, you would be much happier and you wouldn't have spent this time. Yeah, that's, 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 that's very result-oriented. In mathematics, you learn to never think result-oriented. You always go by the 
the expected value, okay? And just because in this case, the result is that I still do not have communication because remember, she could have given me communication at any time. It was not, it was not, uh, the result was not clear. The expected value was very good. What I did was very good. You cannot say, hey, I'm so oriented in your case, it did not work out. Thus, you made the wrong well, play. You made the wrong decision. Like I did the correct decision. Mind. I put... <laughs> Huh? If I was Nyon, I would I would be afraid to, to meet you because you're justifying violence. You're justifying asking her back. No, I'm not justifying violence. I'm just yes, listen, if, 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 listen, listen, you're, you're again putting me in a bad light. Listen, if you have cancer, okay? For example, you have cancer. Do you know what chemotherapy is? Okay, chemo do you know what chemotherapy is? Of course, I'm a pharmacist. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's great because what chemotherapy is, it detects, uh, of course, some of the, of the good cells, but it also detects especially the cancer cells and tries to get rid of the cancer cells. But why do we want to get rid of the cancer cells? Because we want the patient to survive. But the cancer cells, they're not necessarily bad. They're just, they're just uh, killing the patient, and that's why we need to rescue the patient, right? And that's why we have to do chem chemotherapy. And that's why we have to pluck weeds in the garden because weeds sometimes uh, drag too many nutrition away from other plants and that's also why we have here in our society in humanity when there are people out there who cause harm like Christina Grimmie did by not communicating by presenting, by presenting herself available and stuff like that or like, like, like other people but if they cause harm, harm maybe sometimes maybe sometimes it's a better decision to pluck the weed and I'm not endorsing uh, violence I'm doing the opposite I'm trying to save humanity humanity is like a garden and sometimes we have to pluck weeds to make the garden flourish and sometimes it, it, it sounds sometimes crazy but if there's a murderer who, who kills 20 of people wouldn't you want to yeah, kill a murderer so that he cannot kill 20 innocent people that, that way you would save 20 innocent people, right? So you always want to uh, get rid of people who, to save the most amount of people, okay, so, but so, at the same time, you care about justice. Okay? My you point just is saying, you're saying Christina Grimmi is the cancer cell, Christina Grimmi is the one who's at fault, right? Well, but is yeah, it she not have, doing the same she thing? Have, I do not know the story 100%, but from what I've heard, she could have communicated much earlier. Yeah, okay. She could have prevented what he could have given him the attention uh, he wanted and then tell him, hey, listen, uh, this was without maybe stop your efforts here, I will pay you your efforts or whatever, but letting him in uncertainty and then secretly dating behind his back is crazy. It's fucking crazy what she did. Uh -huh. She literally forced him to kill her. She is the culprit. That, like imagine some, someone doing this. This is insanity to secretly date by someone else. Is keeping keeping uh, like giving you flowers. He's keeping efforts, 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 and you accept efforts. You're like okay, I'm not saying anything. Mm -hmm. And then secretly dating. That's so unfair. That's so crazy. That's yeah, so immoral. That's so criminal. So no, never for those people who are listening. Never cheat. Always be honest, always communicate, always, always, always tell your surroundings what's going on because if you secretly date someone and you let someone else uh, waste efforts on you, then you will be in a very bad situation, okay? Never cheat, okay? Always be honest, always it's communicate, not okay? That's my tip. That's, that's, that's the important life lesson. It's not cheating because she never made a commitment. And by that logic, you're saying Nyon is speaking, speaking, cheer, 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 taking the efforts from the other person. She's enjoying the efforts from the other person. She sees, oh, that person oh, is so interested in me. He's he, 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 You are literally wasting that person's time. All you have to do is to tell him, hey, look. There's someone else or whatever, uh, here, I'll pay you that for that But you should also never present yourself available in the first place. You should never go out and say, Hey guys, I'm looking for a boyfriend. Oh, I'm so available. Guys, I will take all of you. Guys, I want to take you. Listen to me, listen to me. There's so many girls that are like this and that's very dangerous. But if you go out in public and you're like, I'm dating everyone. And then there are a lot of guys, they give all the flowers, they effort, effort, and they're like, yeah, I will. I will date you, yeah, yeah, sure, I will date you, I will date you. And there are 10 guys who keep doing efforts, and then she's like, huh, I'm running away with another guy. Of course these 10 guys will be fucking angry because no, they put a lot of time okay, in the relationship. Like that's why, you have to go, you have to go. Never, never present yourself available if you are not available. And if you present yourself available, if you say, hey, I want a boyfriend, and there is someone who shows effort, then you either accept these efforts and say, okay, that's really nice of you, or you say, hey, you're not my type or whatever, but here's a clear rejection. Never let him, like that's a fish, on the, on the, on the fishing line, and then you just later say, ah, I'm running away with a different guy, because that's insanity. You're wasting so much time and effort of that innocent guy that meant well, that went through emotional difficulties because you in office, I guess always communicate clearly. It is insane. It is insanely irresponsible. It is insanely criminal to not communicate properly in such a situation. And that you even think it is appropriate to ignore someone in such a situation that put the kind of efforts, years and years, millions of dollars, into proving that he loves someone and not giving him clear, like not even chatting with that person and not even giving him clarity and say, hey, listen, listen, you don't have to do this. Don't do it. Uh, I, 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 I'm not telling you. To him like a fish on the fishing line is completely criminal. It is completely out of everyone's mind. It is worse than murder. It is by far worse than murder. It is so cruel. It is so, so, so cruel. Never, guys, uh, everyone who listens, always communicate, always exchange yeah, information. Like never let someone in an charity. Never, you please, you please, are, never please let someone on the fishing line, okay? Never, okay? Communication is the most important tool that we humans have, and that's also why we all need to learn English, because English is a universal language, and it will help us okay, all humanity to Just come together and communicate with talk. each other without language barriers, okay? Everyone out there, learn English, it's extremely important these days, and it will be even more important in the future. Keep educating yourself, because education is very important, and always, always communicate, especially, especially to people who are interested in you. Let them know what you truly think about them, and what their efforts truly do, because if their efforts are in vain, if they are useless, tell them, so that they do not waste any time, okay? Always, always communicate. Again, and again, this girl, right there, that you are watching right now, she is not really smart. If you listen to her and you think she's smart, maybe educate yourself and maybe you realize that this girl you're listening to right now, what's her name again? Either. Evangeline. Yeah, Evangeline, she's not that smart, okay? Yeah. Okay, so I just think that you are ignoring several points again, which is that first thing you assume, as a scientist, you can never assume that you're the only one in this world who cares about Nyon. I'm exactly. pretty sure yeah, she's yeah, 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 I looked around, I opened my eyes, I looked around, I looked everywhere. I said, hey guys, you is there that, anyone you who loves Nyon as well? Because that's, that's, really, that's, really, that's really an important uh, thing to know. Not just for me, but also for the other guy. If there is another guy that loves Nyon as much as me, then it's insanely important that we get together and we find a solution that both can live with, because obviously, but if there's another person that loves Nyon as much as me, then communication
that we can find a solution. Like, oh shit, we both lost nine, but there's only one nine. What do we do now? Uh, well, we have to find a solution. And that's why I looked everywhere. So <laughs> people who truly lost nine, but that means that no one can find anyone. anyone. And the second thing is, if there is someone who truly lost nine, then he would have seen my channel, my YouTube channel, because he would also have looked, and then he would have seen, oh, there is already someone who lost nine, and then he would have contacted me and said, hey bro, we have a problem because okay, I truly lost nine as well. What do we do now? But it's never happened. And that's how we know that typically, so yeah, in reality, 100%, 100 percent, that is that I'm the only one who truly lost nine right now. Okay, well, if that's the case, anyways, I don't think we can agree on this. So it was interesting talking to you, and thank you for spending your time talking to a stupid woman like me. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, I always educate yourself, also the viewers who are listening, and remember, not all education is equally valid. There is some education that is more important than other education. For example, science, technology, chemistry, uh, things like that are very important for human progress, and other education, like learning a lot of different languages, like French and stuff like this, is not really important because we need to focus ourselves on English anyway, on one universal language, because if everyone learns the same language, we can all as humanity communicate well with each other. So don't waste your time on French, don't waste your time on other languages. We learn English, learn engineering, learn science. And educate yourself, guys. And the more educated you are, the more confident you are, and uh, it will help humanity progress faster. And progress is very nice, really cool. I love progress, I love technology, and we also work hard to keep the progress uh, going. Yeah. Cool. So thank you so much for your time, and let's end on a positive note. So yeah. Okay. okay bye. bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting or insightful, then I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But please refrain from harassing, cyberbullying, or doxing Josh. Know that I do not condone any such activities. Last but not least, huge thanks to CyberGhost VPN for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the link in the description to grab their exclusive deal today. And with that said, I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully. Thank you for watching and special thanks to my Patreon members for supporting my channel. If you'd like to watch reaction videos and other bonus content, then be sure to check that out on my Patreon.